Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Honkai Star Rail. Hi, hi. Oh, Sup? You've arrived. We have. Sorry. Seems like you're not particularly happy to see us. I mean, she is being forced to walk around the city with us. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay. No, no. Only an extra couple of hours. I am so <laughs> sorry. Uh, we, the mutual benefit should thing can happen here of you do your own thing, we do our own thing, we just say it happened. <laughs> you you just pretend? Zimbalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, uh. I don't know what Cloudford is. But I really want to go there. Sounds interesting. With Sounds cool. With monsters wreaking havoc and the night scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. Sounds like we're going there. <sighs> nice! So we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Yes! Oh, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. Yep. Fair enough indeed. True. Duh, that's just what we do every day. Or you've caught a Celeron Hunter before. I mean, I don't know why we would ask that second thing. I mean, we know it's played. <laughs> that's the trailblazing life for you. Indeed. Oh, yeah. We're pros at it. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. I, I, I guess we just talk Shall to her again. My benefactors. Please. Let's go. After you. Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. What did you get? <gasps> you better Aww, let me he's so cute. He's ours now You cannot have him back You will never see him again I, Don't say it like that That mm. uh, <clears throat> I mean What can he do exactly yeah. Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka Uh huh I'm gonna be honest with you man If someone showed me that little critter in real life I would not be able to act cool I'd just be like oh so adorable. It is very cute. I'd melt. Yes, and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the Artisanship Commission. Yikes. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. A another bionic dog? Yeah, do you have a problem with bionic dogs? No, no, no problem whatsoever. I just, just, I... I like uh, how they made Peppy, and now this is the skeleton of Peppy. Like <laughs> model wise. <laughs> model wise, yeah. It's it's very interesting. I'm like I'm I'm just expecting to see like, you know, a living dog. Or wait, is a bionic still alive? Like yeah, or bionic, this, it, yeah, bionic would be like. A bionic would be like half alive, half robot, like or half What am no, I trying to say of here? Cyborg. Yeah, I'm thinking of cyborg and everything. So what's bionic? Wait, what's the definition of bionic? Bio I don't remember actually. What is the definition of bionic? Definition of bionic is having artificial body parts, especially electromagnetical ones. Oh, wait, no, electromechanical ones. So it's a real dog, but not. But not. It's got. It's part robot. It's cool. a cyborg. Sweet. Cy so it is a cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> he attracts or scent as long as he uncovers a trace. He'll follow it all the way to the end. It's cute. He, he does a good job. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding. Deeting will find her. Aww. Oh, boy. But before we get What's started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. <laughs> let's play with his settings. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. Got it. Tell Deeting to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. That works. He's so cute and he's with us. 
Tell me we're gonna get him as ah. a pet in the future. What? Oh, well, I didn't need to see the butt, but you know. But, but. Look at its little... Look at that tongue. Look at its... Stop. Stop look with the at butt. Its, look at its face. <laughs> and it's, it's butt. Okay. <laughs> and as a mooning feature, that's nice. <laughs> mooning feature. You follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yoon, right? Oh, flip. Ah, oh, it's my elemental She's dog. She's not in a hurry, that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large? The traces. Where did they go? Is D Ting malfunctioning? How dare you accuse him of malfunctioning? How dare you? Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port, so it's not easy to follow the scent. Ooh, new mechanic. I didn't know what he's saying. That's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. <laughs> hey, I'm not. All right. Okay. Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around? Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Ting Yoon. That's not cheating, right? We're just collecting intel. Good puppy. <gasps> okay, so we have to talk to people. Sweet. But who do we talk to? Oh, or we can just go to the glowy thing. Investigate! A piece of white name card with a bird spreading its wings at a corner. The card belongs to the uh, uh, Amicassador Ting Yun, head representative of the Intergalactic Merchant Guild, Whistling Flames. That's a cool name. No doubt this is a tiny clue she left for you. Or maybe there are more of them. So, um, are we not talking to people? I guess not. I thought we were going to talk to people, but okay. No, we're getting clues. Oh, optional ask people. Okay, hold on. Ah, you are the people. Excuse me. Any chance you saw a foxy and lady pass by? Well, that's a heck of a question, miss. I'd say nearly one in every two people passing through Starskip Haven is foxy. We might have seen the lady you're looking for, but you wouldn't have batted an eyelid. You're both talking about a pretty lady. Does that narrow it down? <laughs> He's not lying. Still, if you uh, describe her a little, maybe it'll jog our memory. <laughs> <laughs> what? His name is Backin? She's pretty. <laughs> pretty? Well, that's too generic for a Foxian. Even if you don't count the ladies, there are plenty of gents that fit that description like a glove. As True tedious enough. as it is, I'm afraid you'll have to uh, describe her in more detail. Please don't say two ears, one tail. What is this conversation? Here's a photo. I can put my hand on my heart and say I remember this fine lady. Good. That's nice. Why didn't we do this? Nonsense. I've been stood next to you this oh whole my time, goodness. and I don't remember anyone like her. They're named back and forth. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's funny. Really? Re really now? Well, well, I may not have seen her in person, but her beauty feels like a long lost acquaintance. How wonderful to be reunited with her after so long. <laughs> this is such a... <laughs> I love you, game devs. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. My friend here appears to have... Uh... Lost touch with reality. <sighs> Are you two professional time wasters or something? Please accept our apologies. Me and my partner do double act comedy in the Sleepless Earl. <laughs> the tea house around the corner? As you can probably guess, with all these curfews and lockdowns, we've hardly had an audience the past few days. We figured we'd find a spot on the street and do some rehearsal, just to stop us getting rusty. That's awesome! Then you guys swung by asking for this Foxian lady, so we thought we'd give you a little bit of improv. Free of charge, I might add. <laughs> Thank you, but we didn't ask. <laughs> stay calm, stay calm. I did see the girl you're looking for. She took a turn from here into Star Watcher Avenue. 
I'd suggest you head over that way. She might still be there. Hmm. I find it hard to trust anything you've just said. <laughs> well, I'm glad we came back and talked to them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is! You found me. Ditting's quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? If you pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape. Okay. What is if that's what they want? I mean, another vending machine. Where is the actual store of this Just... Place? Sorry. Oh, Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Oh. Wait! I interacted with the boat, didn't I? That the shinies might become so quiet. Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. What the flip? Oh, that's a boat. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. Oh. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. That is pretty bad. Of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. I guess. That is quite you nice. You don't seem to worry too much about the Sienjo, Miss Ting Yoon. Sienjo. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, the Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. We can handle this situation. Just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. I'd love to help, but there's very little I can do except cheer you on from the sidelines. That is technically both true and false. You're incredibly broken. You want to leave all the fun to us? Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm only a civil servant. I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. I mean, it is. Oh, I'm sure. It's kind of semi true that she only really does the whole cheering thing. I say that, yet yeah, she can definitely auto attack. She can attack. kill people. She can very much kill people, but her cheering is just so OP. We Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals, but I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. You'd do the same in my shoes, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's Besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. We can tie her to a stick and use it as a weapon. <laughs> Daniel, we can't do that. Why not? <laughs> Just like literally like tie her to one of those little like cart things like wheelbarrows and we'll just wheelbarrow her around tie her to a forklift yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> she can buff us. how helpful <laughs> i was never much of a fighter and i'm not one for risking my life either getting dating into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description it's really not actually i'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet yu kong <laughs> Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Tingyun. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Before D-Ting can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leads. If Kafka is hiding in Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned. Of course. But first, a puzzle. Uh, <laughs> Rotate. Oh, well. Oh. It's time for really hard puzzles. Wait, hold okay. up. Whoa, whoa. Okay. It is going to be harder, actually. Or not. I just do this until it lines up. Uh, nailed it. Oh, is it? No, it's not. I'm not really getting the puzzle aspect. Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's quite easy. Not, I'm not. I, I know. Mean, I think I'm missing something. I know puzzles get harder the higher our world level is. So maybe that's our issue. Maybe. Cause that is really easy. That's 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 like 
that's very that's very easy. Like the Herd of Space Station had harder puzzles actually, with like the walking puzzles that you had to like do in order and stuff. But they, at the same time, that's not. They weren't hard. I'm just saying they're harder than you know spinning harder. a thing. Hard, harder. Hard, door. Door. Sharp door. Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. Uh -oh. It must have been Kafka. She's got a scary sword. Or it was Blade. Or Blade. They both have scary swords. They both, yeah. Whoa! A pole arm that was sliced in half. One can imagine the fate that befalls its master. Oh, it's a level up material. Let's go. Oh, for. I guess it's uh, a. Oh, wait, thing. no, it's a mission item. Oh. You got me excited for a second. I was like, oh, dude. Please. I was like, that's so cool. Oh, oh no. No, it's not. It's not cool because it's actually just a mission thing. I mean, it's still cool, but, you know. D don't just de bam in de <laughs> Yeah, it's done fast. Okay. Uh, okay, kill these things. Japara, do your thing. Wait, why do we have a shield on? Oh, uh, we had a daily to use techniques. Oh, well. I guess it just stayed on the entire time. Good to know that Japara's shield doesn't go away if you ever use it. That is quite nice to know. That you can just pop it, punch it, move on. Nice. Yeah, yeah literally just... When you're leveled up. Just pop the shield and be like, oh, okay, now I wait 40 minutes till I get to fight something. Sweet. Awesome. A chest. Look, D Ching found a strange chest. And there's a handprint on it. Oh, wait, could I not see that? Uh, okay. Let me see. Slender fingers, but strong. This hand belongs to a killer. Oh. Uh, there's a note here, too. Take your fancy, there's a reward inside. Oh, why do I get the feeling we're not the ones doing the hunting? No, of course not. They can see the future. It seems like Kafka predicted our every move. Stay alert, all of you. We could be walking into a trap. So, uh, Daniel, how does it feel, by the way, with Kafka coming up, and yet we have so many amazing-looking characters being teased on the Honkai Star Rail Twitter lately? <laughs> how's, how's it feel? Uh, help. <laughs> What's this? It looks like clay. Oh. Mr. Yang, any idea? I think it might be shipbuilding material left over from the assembly line, though I can't tell exactly what the substance is. I don't think it's connected to Kafka. Oh. Do we have any free summons, by the way? Yes, we do. A new month has passed. So that's Are you serious? Warp. Standard. I so want to go for healer guy, but like now that we've seen the 1.3 characters, I'm just sitting here going like, what the flip? God, might we give these pulls completely to you? Whatever we get, God. Thank you. You only name I pray, man. Amen. Okay, Jesus, what do you got for us? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? So if it's a fox girl, that would be amazing. There's two fox girls that would be incredible. Actually, no, Yukong is on the ban oh, banner. All right. Oh! Ooh, is this the, uh... Yes. Get hit damage one. One yeah, sec, the, yo. Uh, yeah, that's that one. Flap, how do we look at that? Hold on. We have to go out, don't we? Yep. Okay, uh, destruction character. Yeah, Dosh. Yo, yo, we actually have a destruction light cone. Let's go. Increase damage dealt by the wear by 20%. The wear also deals extra 20% damage to enemies whose current HP percentage is equal or higher than the current HP... Uh, the current wearer's HP percentage. That's pretty nice. Indeed, that is... Especially for bosses? Especially since you can enhance that. Well, yeah, that what is that? Takes it uh, go to the archive five. and see what that looks like. Dang, it increases both. Five. Yo, 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 wait. I want to see that, what it actually looks like. Can you uh, can you go to the archive and check out the stats of that thing when it's like fully ranked up and everything yeah, in like yeah. levels? Light cones. You're singing the Log Horizon intro. No, such hey, a, look at that. Woo! Such a good intro. Max level is 40. So 80% increased damage to guys with like more HP than you. And uh, 476 attack, which isn't as solid as a 5 star, but it's still pretty good. It's oh, still pretty good. The just 40% increased base. What is, what is the uh, 5 star, the free 5 star uh, destruction one do again? Oh, what is that? Maxed out? Okay, uh, increases the wearer's attack by 16% in this battle. The attack then can stack up to four times. When the wearer inflicts weakness break on the enemies, the wearer's damage is increased by 24%. Oh, okay, that is pretty good, actually. Dang. 
But they have to be the ones to break them. They have to be the ones to break them. But the uh, the 16% times four is pretty nice. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. And there's like but no. You have to be the one to break them. Yeah, for the only for the break down. bonuses, you have to get the uh, the break. Okay. Puppy. Dang. Is Cute this puppy. anything to do with Kafka? I have no That's idea. That's a shipwright soldering gun. I think one of the workers here must have left it behind. Rip. The dog is really picking up everything, huh? I mean, dogs pick up most things. I like how I know, Dale just ignored me. Let's go and have a look. Wait, is that the right thing? Is oh, this the right thing? What? Uh, oh. Is that a grenade? Huh? What's that on the side? Uh, it's lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. A dud grenade. Okay. A grenade with its pin pulled. It is silent as though it might start growling at any moment. Lovely. What? Uh, okay, so there's another pot. The dude here. Ha! Get stabbed. Get sta stabbed in the back. Get stabbed in the butt. Stabbed in the butt. You're literally the worst enemy here, so let's uh, do that. You have a lot of HP. Jeez. We have the upper hand. Punch it. All right. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Why Bela out of everyone? Uh, don't do the AOE. Oh, That's no, just that mean. Me. Hey, suck. We're probably going to need to reposition uh, Silver Wolf to be by Japard, actually. She has a bit more health than Pela, I think. Pela is definitely a lot squishier. Pela's squish. What do you got for us? Investigate. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka. <sighs> we should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. Don't move, by the way. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. What? Doesn't that thing in the box look oddly like the fairy tale symbol? From this <laughs> angle? Kind of. That's so weird. Ooh, it's acquiring this token was not very smooth. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, there's still more clues. There's still more things to talk. So much to see and do. So much to see and oh, do. There's a boss. You know what? Oh, flip. We need to kill the boss. I, at least I want to kill the boss. Ha! Get broken, Buster. Mm -hmm. It's flipping. Well, darn. You out of existence, Quantum, please. Thank you. <laughs> and suddenly this fight just And came. get frozen? No. No. Darn. I cannot wait till the uh, the time comes that we can afford the uh, Jepard weapon. What a it's going to be so nice. That Soon. Is, that is if we don't buy a fox scroll in the monthly shop. We should have enough clues here to get I did be, 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 I don't hear it. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the we're way. We're gonna hear this a few more times. Yeah, we're gonna hear it at least once more. Uh, what are you weak to? Ice and quantum. You're good with anything. Right. Can't be. Don't All right. You should be by yourself. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, great. Uh, Let's. No, I cannot kill you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and just bop this guy a little bit. Is he gonna summon guys? Yeah. He usually summons guys. Oh, or not? No. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we can alt the flip out of them. Cool. But maybe. Uh, yeah. Alt first. So, what do we do? Silver Wolf, the main guy, and then Pale Alt. Needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. <laughs> that is the correct. Detected. I have no idea. Was it Pela then Silver Wolf or Silver Wolf then Pela? I don't remember. I don't remember. There's what? definitely enough. There's definitely a better way to do it. I just don't. Maybe it's Pela then. No, that was a lot. Of I don't know, guys. Let us know. Uh, my our, our brains aren't working right now, okay? Like, look, I'm sorry. 
You will know just Beautiful dude. I'll free you from your chains. Sucks. Ah. To be you. Oh, I'll freeze him. Butterflies. Illusions of the past. I guess we should have attacked then ulted, but whatever. It's I fine. He'll get prepared. frozen. That's technically better. Te depending, yeah. Uh, shield uh, or nah? The little. Go ahead and shield. Just let, let's refresh that sucker again. Yeah. They're level 50. It's better to be safe than sorry. This is definitely like a harder fight than usual. It's supposed to be at least. Doesn't look like it right now because they're all frozen, but you know. Tomato to. So you are <laughs> Whoa! Uh, actually, I'm gonna. Have to did we auto. did we put like more break effect on Japar? Did he just hit for like almost 3k? Sorry. What? Sorry, little dude. You need to not exist anymore. Oh, oh wow. Oh well, Zilla enabler. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably oh. should have actually just auto attacked him. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, just get the little guy, and you just hit the big guy real, real hard, like. I don't think that's gonna kill, sadly. Flap. So close. Very close. I'll just punch one of these guys. Now Pela can kill them. Got it. Okay, are you gonna rebuff yourself? Nope! That was so cool! What the flip? That was that was freaking awesome. I, I don't even know what I saw there, but it was cool. That was My not enough enemy. to kill you? Jeez. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Who's next? Let me end your misery. Ah, rip. Rude. You put wind shear on? Ew. Apparently. Brody. Uh, is basic attack enough to kill him? I want to say yes, but if it's, if I'm wrong, this is going to suck. It's going to suck. <laughs> That's awkward. I'm kind of in digging the fact that we get to see his attacks, though. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm noticing that I don't think he can rebuff once he makes himself immortal. I'm not seeing it, at least. Or maybe it's just a rare thing he can do. Yeah, like what? He does it like every first turn, and then after that, it's like, well, we maybe he does it again. Yeah, should have enough glues here. Yep, we know. We know well. Thing. Maybe. We got it. Sent. Sent. Sniff. Super sniff. Ah. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> uh, you don't have to kill that oh, thing. I'm not gonna kill him. I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> uh, that'll be a puzzle. To Wait, no, out. but don't don't you want to hear about like D Ting having enough clues? Look, another clue. A clue. Ah, I know what this is. It's an advertisement for a home use object finder. There are IPC advertisements everywhere. It's about time I got in touch with their trade commissioner. Uh-oh. Uh. So, someone's spamming their ads. I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But did Kafka leave them behind on accident? Or on purpose? Bro, she kissed a grenade. I think it's on purpose. <laughs> uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag. And I think we're the punchline. Oh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering. Come and get me. That would be suitably Kafka-esque. Kafka-esque? Okay. Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Question. You know, I... I'm, I just put two and two together. How the freak does the IPC, which is like a trade commission, put out bounties? They have money. Yeah. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. Bro, I'm so excited. I'm assuming something big's about to happen. Maybe. Gosh Sh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like such a clickable object. Whoa! Elevator. Bro, I thought we were about to just take a tumble there. I was like, okay. Just um, dog? <laughs> dog, what are you doing? 
<laughs> okay. He sounds so cute. Did you hear him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> His little wop, 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 sounds. He's got, a, he's got a walking animation sound effect. Holy crap. Healing, thank God. Uh, Correct well, way is over. No. No, they denied us. No! Bullfish! Exploding McBang Bang fish! No! no we'll flip. No, 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 no! Get shot. No. The ultimate form of fishing. Just heavy caliber. Oh, well, this is easy. Well, you say that, but that guy's got a lot of health, my dude. Oh. Don't look at me like that. Don't like look at me like me you know you're gonna time. crit and make this look easy. Ow. Ow. Boop. Do you think that quantum tank girl coming out will be a bit quicker and everything? I don't know. She doesn't seem to be lugging around a giant... Whatever the flip, Jepard's lugging around. Has she been officially shown off? Yeah. No, she's Your been on their Twitter. She's coming be uh, 1.3. So she's coming at 1.3 and that other guy's Question, coming at 1.3. Can I see that chest without the dog? I don't know. Wait for it to wear away. Yes, I can. Well, cha ching, strail. Cha ching, baby. What the freak is a strail? It looked like a weapon. It's Whoa, not hi. a strail. What's not a strail? I don't know. What's not Australia? S Australia? Well, you know, anything that's not. Oh! Woo! That's a thing! That's a thing. We need to go touch the thing! Uh, probably just hit him. <laughs> just gonna nuke him anyway. Oh, well, this is gonna be Don't super annoying. Okay, you're broken. You're cured. You're probably dead? Dead. Dang, man. You are probably just Yaljapard, you. I hope you're prepared. Yeah, yeah, freeze him. The die is cast. Boop. Okay, good. We were banking on that hard, man. That was gonna be really awkward if she lived with like 10 HP or that something. That would have been very awkward. Rob. I uh, forgot! I forgot. Gosh darn it. Flipping. Enemy targets detected. <laughs> Whatever, you're you're dead anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, that was pretty funny. Okay. Man, Payless a beast. She really is. Well, I guess because they're like, oh, well, she only shoots them once with her skill. Just make the skill hit real hard then. That one shot does Fire a lot. Damage. Increases Whoa. wearer's skill damage by 12% after unleashing the ultimate. Increases the wearer's fire damage by 12. That's pretty cool, actually. So all in all, that's a lot. That's not bad. It's like a 30% increase for fire users. Oh, that's a set. <laughs> what, what, what am I looking at? Desert Bandit. Increase imaginary damage by 10%. When attacking debuffed enemies, the wearer's crit rate increases by 10. And crit damage increased by 20. Whoa, hold up. Whoa, imaginary... Against imprisoned enemies. Imaginary is frost. Is is this... Is this... Is what this are you? Game's frost... What is that? Kind of want to fight that, but should we wait? Imaginary resistant. Ah, I see. So you farm it for the imaginary set, but it's strong against imaginary. Dude, I'm still trying to process the fact that this game's light is Genshin's what ice. Gate? What? I mean, technically, ice is also a thing. Yeah, but like... You can technically imprison them and then try to freeze them as well, and then they're just... And then they can just unsubscribe from life. <laughs> oh, puzzle time. Let's go. Oh, puzzle hard puzzle. Time. Where's the other cube? I can't see it. I'm assuming it's just at the opposite side. Yeah, there it is. Oh, this is actually quite easy. How does this work again? Uh, uh, remember, you can. it's like a Rubik's Cube. Think about it like a Rubik's Cube. Right there, and then do the other one. Whoa. And then there you go. And then the wait, flip. No, wait. And then flip. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and then... Yeah. I know what I'm doing. That was pretty funny. Bountiful treasure. I have obtained a thingy majiggy. My favorite kind of. Really? That's not gonna open? Well. well that's just me. 
No shortcut for you. Yeah, literally, that's a shortcut to get the, to this. Well, I guess we can teleport you, just straight to it. Dale, the, the ultimate shortcut is just open your book and everything. Go no! teleport. I, I know, I'm sorry. For all you guys out there that don't teleport to increase immersion, it sucks. My immersive experience is shattering. And your day is not ruined. My day is ruined. Look at that frog. Get hit, frog. I don't remember what the frogs do. What do they, the, uh, what do the uh, and frogs do? So I don't remember. I think you want to kill the that dude, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be wrong. I think they're annoying if I remember. Inputting commands. Die. Dang! Huh. More enemies. Uh, I guess just try to kill those guys, yeah. Since you're all in already. Price. Yeah. Nice. You were on it. Okay, that was enough. Don't mess with me. Awkward. The other guy should speed, die. Speed, speed reduction. That's what you do. Yeah, frogs are annoying. I think the other guys do something even more annoying. I don't remember, though. You're alive? Maybe they do defense or something. Stop. Stop that. Stop with the bad breath. It's cringe. Go away. You cringe baby. <laughs> cringe nice. baby. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. It's got a hand another on it. Just another handprint. Has this woman got nothing better to do? No. A no. little cheese for the rats in the maze? Rats? Oh, she's playing games with us. I hate her. I mean, she literally has free time to kill. I mean, their their leader can tell the future. I mean, what else, what would you do if you were in her situation? What? Seems normal. Star skip well, seed? What? I uh, grow them. Um, indeed, is a piece of art. Okay. What's over here then? Another puzzle. Wow. Boop. Her swing. Uh, both on that side. Hmm? Oh no! Wait, that's not nearly complicated. No, it's not hard at all, actually. There you go. You have to just, yeah, there you go. Whoa! That's it's a puzzle! I will say, I like these puzzles the most, I think, so far in this game. Because it just, it makes you think. And I'm assuming it'll get, like, harder as you level up. And it'll get, like, three and four, maybe, layers or something. That'd be kind of cool. I, I would like that a lot. A, a lot, I say. Oh my goodness. Uh, what is this? I am the president uh, president of the Hex and Nexus Secret Society. We are called the Hex Club. Uh -huh. Yo, do you guys know the Hex Girls? Let's go. Have you heard the name of Hex and Nexus? I have posed this question to countless people. Those I asked eventually began to learn about it, were saved by it, were moved by it, and became inspired by it. I love puzzles as much as the next guy, but I am not joining a puzzle called. There are innumerable masterpieces in the Artisanship Commission, but never had there been a piece de resistance that symbolizes the artistry and workmanship of craftsmen until the Hexanexus disrupted the status quo. To us, the Hexanexus represents the heart and soul of craftmasters and the original intent of creation. What? Only with such a soul can one begin their first step on the road of mastery. We who still walk the road will inevitably experience joy and sorrow. But as long as the Hexanexus exits uh, or exists, we can look at the future with hope and smiles. I have to go grab some real quick. Daniel, if you want to read the rest of this. And passion to all people in the world through the Hexanexus to fill life with curiosity and euphoria. With utmost respect, the Hex Club. That was beautiful. I think I almost shed a tear, Daniel. Thank you. You did amazing. Cancel. <laughs> Unsubscribed. Blocked. Ratioed. L. What a long message. Where the freak did you get our contact info? <laughs> Everyone has it. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> uh, dis, what? dis. They're all disses. Just click your best diss. What kind of super long text is this? You got the wrong person. Don't worry. I didn't. 
We noticed you have engaged with our Hex and Nexus devices multiple times and taken the treasure from the chests. That is our treasure chest. Ours. Did you have your name on it? <laughs> have you any proof? Huh? I knew someone will try and lie the way out of it. You wrote our names that. <laughs> you didn't read it properly, did you? You know, we can report you to the Realm Keeping Commission. However, us Hex Club is a reasonable organization. I promise you, so long as you continue to play with our Hex and Nexus devices, we won't make a report. Hmm. What? Also, if you complete all Hex and Nexus puzzles, we will present you with a lifetime membership to the Secret Society. This is blackmail! I honestly could care less. Are the chests still up for grabs? <laughs> of course! That's part of the publicity budget. We are... But here's a warning. If you want out, you'll have to reimburse and double. Mm. For as long as you continue to solve the Hexanexus, you will be our brother from another mother. Hexanexus forever! Keep playing with the Hexanexus. We'll be in touch. Of course. Of, okay. So we get a reward if we get them all. That's nice. I'm going to be real with you, Daniel. I don't want a lifetime membership to whatever the freak this club is. Why not? Maybe it's like a like the Jello Club. It never the stops giving. The Jello of the Month Club. Don't Infinite me. food. This Get annihilated out of existence, please. Thank you. Get popped, bruh. Pop! For a rogue. Is going down. <laughs> Battle one. Battle completed. We are the battle masters. Nerds located. Approaching rapidly. <laughs> I thought you were talking about us for a second. What? I, you were like, well, I was like doing all the cheesy, like, like we've won the battle, and I thought you were like, I detect a nerd. Oh, well, something's Is gonna this happen a, here. Ah, uh, yeah, this feels like a loss. This feels like something. I'm with you. Okay, punch the thing. Pow. I can't wait to fight the temple thing. That's gonna be great. So what's gonna be down here? Oh, no, there we go. All right. The scent. Where did it go? Where did it go so wrong? Oh, when the trace of the hunted disappears, the hunter better think twice. Wait, why what? are the guards here? What did you do to them? Huh? It might mean the tables have turned. Okay. Kafka. These cloud knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Pay them. Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> what? No, we have no clue. What do I you mean? I have no idea. What? Huh? Don't look at me. I don't know what she's talking about. <sighs> what a hassle. This place is too far for the diviner. See you up ahead. Oh, see you later. To the diviner? Wait, what? I don't know. Oh, we're beating some guards. All right. Oh, these poor dudes. It is a weapon level up material. Never mind. <laughs> wow. You're weak to imaginary. Ah, uh, okay. Deals minor wind damage to a single target with a high chance to slightly increase the damage taken by the target. That's an an annoying. So Japard's gonna get hit real hard. Well, hopefully he's the one that's getting hit hard. Oh, flip. oh never mind. Okay, I was gonna say, good. <laughs> It'll heal. Okay. Let's Pala alt then Silver Wolf alt. On who? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, do we even? Yeah, do we go all in for these guys? What do you think? Oh, at least do this. Maybe a zeal alt one of them. Yeah, that, that sounds good to me. Oh, she doesn't have it. Uh, we'll just annihilate you out of existence first. Go for it. Well, oh, that one can zeal I can clean up. Time for a buzz. <laughs> well, not quite what I was hoping for. But you know. But enough, Don't I guess. Mess with me. Okay, let's uh. 
I actually don't know Let if you needed to use a skill there, head. honestly. It's fine. Uh, alt this guy or this guy? Uh, go ahead and basic attack the guy on the left and then alt whoever has the lowest health, I think. Who's next? Oh, I'll never mind. Wow, this is good. Okay, just delete one of these dudes. Never mind. Their first turn, they have like some armor on them. Yeah, they're going. They're dead here. here. Among the sea of butterflies. Okay, so there was like some cinematic the armor on those guys. Path. Gotcha. Or their first turn, they're just. Wow, we just kind of. So you know what? I'm kind of sorry, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Woof. Yeah, they just have armor. Okay. Rip. Don't let her escape. March not so fast. March, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! S secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Well, not really a oh. tunnel, but like, you know, secret passage! Door. Secret door! Secret door! Baby! Okay, uh. Chest and a bunch of fish. Great. Awesome. Love it. Any secret chests? What's over here? Nothing. nothing. Nothing but the fear of heights. Nothing but the fear. <laughs> nothing but the fear. That sounds so edgy. Nothing but the fear. Nothing I'm but the you. fear. Nothing but the fear. Fear. But the fear. <laughs> oh, well. Just to break everything in here. Because it's probably not just fish. Good call, dude. So you are and everything is broken. Ooh. Everything explodes when you're part of a team. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, this probably won't kill you since you're higher level. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. These guys are yeah, they're guarding a chest. They are 100% beef. 100% beef, huh? <laughs> you don't say. Why did that sound like some kind of food commercial? <laughs> oh, freaking. Uh, probably this is actually going to be really tough. Flip. You're so rude. Take your bad breath somewhere else. What a headache. Is that gonna kill? That may kill. Do it. Go for it. Problem is we can't payload skill now. Oh well flip. <laughs> Oop. Uh so you know. Dead. Tickle him. Ready for another? I'll free you from your chains. Okay. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Did we debuff him? Of the past. We debuff this guy, right? Uh, nope. He didn't die from that? Wow, okay. They, these guys are stonk. Okay. They invested wisely. Time for a Yo, okay, we still haven't talked about the whole, like, you know, <laughs> explosion going on in the background, by the way. No one's noticed that? Notice what? I don't know, the black hole forming in the tower over there? The we, what? That thing. That thing? What that thing? I, Daniel, flipping. <laughs> What's that thing? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I'm pretty sure that's a Stellaron, if I'm not wrong. Oh, darn it. It sure looks like a Stellaron. If that's just something that goes on normally here, then I don't know what the freak to make of anything anymore. You took the bait just like that. Time for a buzz. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, these guys are all dying, so that's hype. Have we debuffed that guy? Yes. You will know just. Yes, what? We have. I mean, he was almost dead. Yeah, he, he was. You level fifty guys. Well, just because you're high level, huh? Is that it? Oh, what? Yeah, round two. Okay. Fight. I would have been a little more wise with what I had. You're fine. You're doing good. You're just really low in skill points right now. I would not this... have been extra with it if I had known that. Will this kill? 
Nope. Cool. You took the bait just Will like that. Break. So you're annoying. You're like super annoying if I'm not mistaken. What do you do? Can you like hit Z on him after this? Sure. We shall never fall. We shall never fall. Booga booga. You gotta dance. To increase your power, Daniel. Do it. Is my fire damage yeah, we have a chance to weaken them? Yeah, we don't want that. No, oh, thank y'all. Okay, drop the Rubik's Cube on him. That's a fun sound. Uh, actually, let's... Should have done this before everything else, but you know, it's fine. It's, it's fine, fine, Daniel. It's fine. You got this, I believe. I don't... We have no fear of dying in this battle, but at the same time, there is the fear of, uh, it taking a while. The fear of, of, of time. Yes. Ow. Thanks. Uh, you're gonna recover, so let's put you down a little farther. Basic or skill? What do you think? He's beefy. I wanna, I wanna say just do single target, but like with your, um, your basic, but... But if he lives with just like 10 HP, I'm gonna cry. Potentially. Potentially. I can't make promises. Improv crying starting now. Improv crying. <laughs> Let me warm up real quick. <laughs> okay. Thank God I don't have to fake cry. Okay. Fake cry? Wow. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna fake cry now. <laughs> You're gonna fake cry? <laughs> Wow! You, Dale, you want to start big crying now? More enemies. <laughs> Time for a buzz. Oh, Why are these fish so freaking beefy, dude? I don't know, man. Stop giving it frost, Silver. She's like, but they don't have frost weakness! I yes, he does! <laughs> he does! <laughs> yeah, but it's not natural frost resistance. Come on! Let me end your misery. I love how they gave like Silverwolf one of the like single-handedly like most OP skills in the game, and yet they still made it a freaking roulette because they're like, that'll be funny. Wait, do they not explode if they're frozen? No, he's still alive. How is he still alive? I don't freaking know. Ask him. How? These fish are so annoying. Oh my gosh! The die is cast. The die is Move cast. That's so freaking die. Can you let me have some <laughs> He low key just doesn't like, care. Seriously, die. Okay, there we go. You got a good crit. Finally. Holy crap, those fish are so annoying. I was starting to kind of feel lightheaded, and I don't know why. I think it was because I was just seeing fish. Fish everywhere. Is that it? Stingy chest. <laughs> stingy chest. So stingy. I feel that actually. Wait, what? Oh, hold up. Move. Shortcut. To the left. Move. To the left. Wait, is this a shortcut? Wait, hold up. What is something? It's something. Something. Thumping. Yeah, this is a, 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 a shortcut, I think. No? Is yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Oh, from We're at the very beginning. I don't know okay. why we want this shortcut, but by golly. We now have it. There it is. The door is literally right over there. There's I, no reason for us to open this, but it sure is. Shortcuts are nice for quests, but that's about it. Because, like, like, everything else. Like the, oh, there's a chest here, right? Hmm? Oh, you're right. Because, like, when it comes to, like, daily, like, dungeons is and stuff, you're, you're just going to quick travel. Stingy chest. No. No, we don't know. Flipping flugelhammers. Ah, whatever, you're weak. Okay. At least you're not fish. It's the one thing you got going for you in life. I would have loved it if there was just like a bunch of fish. Imagine that just like you attack a frog and there's like five fish in here with you. Oh, you're kind of basically almost dead, so let's super kill you. Okay, that's fine. Nice. You will know justice. Uh, kill him and you'll be good. You'll be good. Basic or skill? 
I'll just kill to be safe. I'm glad you did! Glad I was safe. He would have lived with freaking 10%. Let me oh. end your misery. Oh! Thank you for the double crits. Nice. We'll take Let's that. Again when you're leveled up. Yeah, okay. I don't want to fight oh, these fish oh, anymore. Oh, oh, it's hiding place. <laughs> freaking dog. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> you don't see you don't see none of this. Hi. Yeah, you realize you could just like zeal a technique through this place, right? Just run. Okay, Mr. Taking the Fun Out of the Adventure. Okay. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I hey, did. I just stayed a fact. <laughs> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. You're going to close that door in our face, aren't you? <laughs> okay. We can just. There's a window. I would. Woo! Just crawl over the thing. No, uh, just no dive through. Here. We need to think of a way to cut her off. Window. Woo! <laughs> right through. I would do it to demonstrate, but I'd slam into the PC. <laughs> Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belt. <laughs> Dale just jumps into the mind. <laughs> if I had a disposable PC, I would do that. If, dude, dude, if, as content creators, if we had just like a billion dollars, we would do stuff like that. We, You could expect stupid skits like that from us, but we don't Move have to a billion. the right. If, if there's any billionaires out there that Ooh. just love our content, that would love to see really awesome skits, you feel free to just throw any kind of donation our way. Feel free. <laughs> what? I'm asking if any billionaire wants to see us go through a computer monitor. I'm just saying, if they want to see that, wow. they can pay for it. Because wow. we don't have the money for that. I would love to do it. Sounds funny. So I need to think about also how to get down there from... How the freak do you get down there? there Wait, hold up. What? I see. So you can move the thing again if you need to, but... Huh. Yep. Let's first grab that. Well, I see. I see what they want. So it's dead. You do? See? Door lock? Okay. I don't see, so I'm gonna just trust that you know what you're doing. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Silly, silly, silly. Silly, silly, silly. I... You just did the exact same thing. Did, what is it's this? The thing was where the thing was... What? Bro, I almost thought for a second you did the exact same thing again. I was gonna have a conniption fit. I was gonna be like Daniel. Daniel, what? Oh wait, no. What is moving up there do? No, I think you were right the first time, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Am I wrong? Oh, <laughs> here it is. Right, and so now to move the. Th what? What? Hold up. Hold okay. up. Is this correct? It is. Okay, nice. You called it. Oh. Okay, well. Flip. I, I can just do the easy thing. Okay, there's the chest right there. We can see it. So, is, no, because we can't get oh, out of here minute. now. That's, we can just, wait, are, we can just do this. Are you kidding me? It was that easy? <laughs> yeah, it was just that easy. And then we can, uh, wait, where's the other chest? I thought, I thought that was it. Oh, yeah, no, that was two. it. You're getting oh. turned around because of the boxes. Weird, I thought there were two. Unless there is. Oh, wait, yeah, there it is, up there. How do you get, oh, well, you just teleport. Something. No, or you just walk back up. Actually, it's really simple. I'm awake. Bro, I love how you called that chest. We're both like, definitely semi-sleep deprived, and you're just like, no, I know there's another chest. I know. I know there's another chest. I know what I know. And what I know is right. Darn right. Okay, I thought you said right. I thought you said rot. I'm like, and what I know is to rot. And I was like, Wait, what? Hold up, you know, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> no, but what you said is, and I know what is right. Got it. Why would I say to rot? I don't know. That's see, that's why I was concerned. You know how uncomfortable <laughs> it is to rot. No, I don't know how, <laughs> how uncomfortable <laughs> it is. I'm assuming very though. Incredibly. <laughs> so you are afraid okay, uh, of all the birds. The birds are going down. Uh, you could probably just yeah, alt this and then just kill them. I think that'll kill, right? 
That hopefully is enough. I think that's a kill. Well, I didn't crit. Or I, th I think you done lied to me. I'm sorry. How dare you? Well, at least they're dead as soon as they pop, but I don't think they will pop. Man, brother, I can't believe you would lie to me like that. I I technically wasn't wrong. You, nice. Uh huh. Let's I wasn't wrong. When you're but you up. weren't right. Well, that's not important. Is that I it? think it's rather important. No, bullcrap. You, you know trust? it's not important. I believe the right of the wrong. I believe that right and wrong is a very <laughs> important thing, brother. Flugelheimers are we talking about here? <laughs> the importance of right and wrong. The importance of you'll yeah. Uh wait, we can move stuff, huh? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Something is right. What are you talking about? Wait, stop no. putting me in a southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me putting you in the southern accent. I blame you somehow. <laughs> What are you looking at? Boom! Wait, what is the point of killing this guy? Question. I don't know. He was just kind of there. He was just there staring at us. He looked at me wrong. <laughs> okay, don't kill him. Oh my gosh! Inputting commands. Actually, I probably could have ignored him. You she really could have. have. She just would have killed him instantly. Time probably. Oh, freaking, where's the void today? <laughs> it's so avoiding us. <laughs> Silver Wolf is that all? It's just avoiding us today. Flip. I need my mono quantum. <sighs> Dude, that's no still it's still gonna be a while because this place requires us to have Pela. Not really. We just have to kill them twice then. I guess. Oh, yo, yo. Mars. I'm with you. Oh. Maybe. Oh, oh my goodness! It is literally a shrine mech, mech a, with a gun. With, with a, a gun, it mech has a shrine. A it has a gun. That's what? It, it, um, imagine if you we took Transformers to Japan and instead of cars and trucks, it's shrines. There you go, <laughs> Michael Bay. There's your next. There's your next big thing. Oh, you are weak to this. Oh, well, oh, well, well okay. I would have done something else. No don't mind. worry, break the don't. fish. Yeah, break um, the fish. Do it. So much. Okay, well. We're gonna need to. Uh, uh, Pela. Pela. You're gonna probably have to kill the fish. I don't wanna have to kill the fish, but we're gonna have to probably. I don't wanna kill the fish. We're gonna have to kill the fish. I don't wanna, I don't wanna kill the fish. It's stupid. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. This combat needs and it's optimizing. <laughs> hmm. this it's all fishy and optimizing. stuff. I don't wanna look at it. I like fish, don't get me wrong, but like. It's delicious, but this, I, I don't get to eat this fish, guys. It, the, it loses like 50% of the appeal. Ah. Uh, <sighs> crap, dude. I don't know, man. You go, you, if you go hard on it, I mean, do it, maybe. Uh, I don't want to ult it. You gotta ult the sucker? Actually. Maybe, maybe attack first. No, no, because you need to regen your ult. What am I saying? The flip. And besides, game. doing the ult gives me a damage buff. Oh, dude, yeah, freak. I don't know. I'll kill the fish. I'll do it. Illusions of the past. Please have like. Very. Oh, he has less health than usual. Uh oh. Okay, that's not a gun. We should have broken him. Well, we now know for the future. Good to know. This guy's actually a pain in our butts. Awesome. Well, that's not good. That's kind of cool, by the way. I just realized that um, the fish explosion affects everyone, no matter where they are. That's nice. Is that to make up for uh -oh. the... Hey, hold up. Is that to make up for the... um? That's... We should have really not killed the fish. That was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. Let's just avoid the sushi from now on. That was a bad sushi right there. Everyone knows there's good sushi and there's bad sushi. That is a true statement right there. You get bad sushi, you might as well just walk away and say, I just don't like fish anymore. Sadly, I have met so many people who have had bad sushi. They just do not want to ever try sushi again. Well, you gotta get that fresh sushi. No, don't do that to her either. Flap. 
That just sucks, man. Okay, kill that guy to enable you. Or just go hard on him. Yeah, why not? Oh, flip. Wait, si what? 33%? What now? What? what was that? I don't know. I don't care. I'm so confused as to what is happening right now. Nice. I'm really hoping that if we kill the boss, these fish die with him. I'm really hoping. You will know just. <laughs> I'm so sick of these fish. I like how we have dealt with these fish for only two episodes now, and yet I'm already sick of them. We're done with them already. I'm already. I'm kind of feeling what Daniel's feeling here. I'm like, you're kidding me. Don't me data secure. I'm going to love the uh, simulated universe of this place. You know what? I will. Because then we can have a disgusting build and annihilate them instantly. That's true, actually. Good simulated point. universe is only hard if you have bad poles. That's that's a good point. Let me end your misery. <laughs> bad gotcha poles and bad uh, RNG skill poles. That's when it hurts. I say that, and yet Honkai Star Rail's starter team is actually stupidly broken and great. And wow. There you go. We should have just broken We should have just nuked that sucker, dang. That's good to know. Good to know. We learned that the hard way. So if he's there, focus him first. Gotcha. And only first. Dang, I really like that enemy. I'm kind of sad, though, his weapon wasn't a Gatling gun. I was kind of hoping it was, but... But like a... Are you just... Yeah, I mean, I can ignore you too. Whoa, hey. hey, you didn't see nothing. Hey, you didn't see no. Oh, wait, crap. Wait, no, that's not a dead end. Interact. Ah, oh, flip. You could zeal all around them if you wanted to. Oh, I could, actually. Or is this a shortcut? No, this is the main way. Flip. Well, make a choice real quick. Be sure. Losing out on a bit of XP and materials, but... Nope. Okay. Wow, good to know that fighting that guy is basically pointless, other than the materials. Other than the XP and materials, which we're kind of missing out on, but... I mean, our characters are fully leveled, so we're just missing out on, like, enough... Uh... Wait, hey, hang on. Do we get Trailblazer XP for fighting guys? Mm-hmm. Probably. I'm gonna need to pay attention to that. Wait, is that a thing? What the flip? Well, there's Kafki. Kafki? Oh, what flip? Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. I want to put on a shield. Uh, you're finished. Surrender. You this have the right. This was all part of your plan. Yeah, it was. Let's not even kid ourselves. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. Not really, since you don't have to do it. It only happens because you decide to do it. Or sometimes it happens because you decide to go against it, and specifically and that causes it to happen, but that's not important. <laughs> Best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. Surrender and save your explanations for that. Nope. That's so if you want to fight, quit stalling. Or I have a lot of... I have a lot to ask you. Let's do that one. Honestly, We're yeah. We're taking you to see the general or not. of the law fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the general will decide your fate. Well, well, before we do that, can we have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with her first? Like, we have like key. a lot, like a lot of past that we don't know about. Oh, thanks, yeah. but no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Ah, flip. I should put on a shield before this. Oh, uh. That's a cool sword. Well. You guys have super armor in the first turn, so attack. Probably her. attack yeah. her. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice boss music. You don't have a lot of health. Oh, you suck. Rude. Better. Proper. Not so fast. Good manners. Ooh. Oh, one, one right now. <laughs> Fancy. 
I don't know if you're about to entangle something or if you're going to hurt someone real bad. Whatever you're going to do, I don't want it. Kafka's the lightning, correct? Whoa! What? Dominated? Oh, dominated. That's OP! Let's... Let's nuke these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's possibly still super armor, actually. Maybe they're just really resistant against the first hit. Want to go for a shield or a freeze? What do you think? Let's see if we can freeze. These guys shouldn't have any resistances to it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Should I ult him to finish him off or nah? I don't know. Could you kill with a skill? Probably not. That amount of health. Oh, unless he's weak now. What do you think? Maybe alt, but alt. Okay, you can either alt the weak dude or you can alt the other guy with all the health. I don't know. What, what do you feel? True, and then I'll use my boosted attack to finish off the other guy. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. I expected him to live him. It didn't Actually, crit. I may finish you off. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh, I got a basic. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now we hit the other dude. Uh, with a skill or basic? <laughs> I don't know. Coin toss, man. In your head. Just do it now. Point. What is it? Basically, well, flap. Bad coin toss. Bad coin toss, but it's fine. Zoning out. Zoning out. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Ready? That was cool. Okay. And you dominated her yet again. Okay. No, no. She's still dominated. Is she just going to be dominated the whole fight? Oh, you need a character that can get rid of debuffs. Flip! They the really, guy. they really want you to pull for uh, 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 Lacha oh. or Natasha. Technically, Natasha can do it too. Enemy data secured. Actually, I should have waited to see if she summoned, but oh well. Time for Wait, hold up! Is mistakes are for the later. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Wait, so what happens if you're like debuffer and dispeller gets controlled? Well, you, sucks the sock. <laughs> are you just in trouble? Oh, I doubt you can be frozen. What a headache. Okay, she's not bad. <laughs> Something for everybody. Oh, wow, that AoE. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. That looks really cool. Not good. Rude. Freaking uh, rude. Shield? Actually, I th no, I think they're fine for now. Silver Wolf is still dominated. Goodness. Ready for another? Is she gonna break out? Yes, oh, thank great God. God. Okay, put a weakness of some kind on. <laughs> Not what I meant, me. but. You said some kind. I did say some kind. Should have said, um, quantum. <laughs> you have alt, by the way. I, I, I think you're safe to just. It's oh, yeah, Silver Wolf, then Zila. Yeah. At this speed, I would have really preferred that weakness to be quantum, but. Beggars I can't be choosers. <laughs> no, they cannot. Cheers. Dang. Okay, I'll uh, probably just go ahead. And I'm yeah, just pop this, start regenerating. Maybe freezer. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go for that regen. Nice. Oh crap! She did get frozen. Ah. Uh, well. I guess we could have tried to apply quantum weakness, but whatever. Jeez. How does that feel? Who do you no. got? No. Oh. That's really bad. That's so bad, actually. Ah! Okay. Wow, you have so many cool attacks. Stop that. You Stop no flexing on us, sister. I almost said brah. Brah. That would have been weird. Wait, what's the what's the equivalent of bra for like female and stuff? What's the is that sista? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I was relying on you to get a weakness. Zoning out. Please don't. Ah. Okay, we're still okay. We're still okay. She's got two percent. Please don't. Thank oh. God she broke out. This should be enough. Do it. Cool fight. 
Let's go! They really took it easy on us. <laughs> Finally. Uh oh. As soon as it went to a cut. No. Oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Been foreseen by the Omnisia. Dang. Fushren, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Though, given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. <laughs> I am Fu Xuan, <laughs> Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the six charioteers. Wow! You're really cool! I'm fine pulling for her. I'm fine pulling uh, for know, her, yeah. yeah. No. Here's the problem, though. I'm fine pulling with everybody. I know they all look cool. They all, all of the Star Rail characters look cool. I actually don't have, Dan and I, like, between content creation, we don't have this kind of money just to be throwing around in a game and stuff. <laughs> like, what the flip? Oh, my gosh. Our young friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with the matter at hand. Sure. What the actual heck is she saying? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, she just showed up some big fancy words. Even my synthesis beacon can't make sense of what she said. She's just trying to be fancy. Fancy. <clears throat> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. Uh, no, no, you're good, you're good. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. An essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. I, uh -huh. I love how the uh, the Star Rail team has just like thrown our expectations out the window. If you had told me that this girl was going to be a freaking quantum preservation character, I mean, quantum, sure, I see that. I could see that. But preservation, this small girl, not to say that height has anything to do with that, but I'm just pointing this out. Like, she's, she looks, she doesn't look like a tank to me. And yet, does Hook look like destruction to you? Yes. Yes, she does. Hook looks like destruction to me. I don't know about anyone else, but she sure does. But what do I know? Recently, we started playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV Online, and Daniel's playing a Lollafell uh, Warrior. I almost said Berserker. Because we tiny person with a giant weapon is a funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like clashing concepts. <laughs> Freaking, it's awesome. Did the general just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Uh-huh. Understood. However, the general promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the... We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. All right. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? We shouldn't delay. Yeah, why not? While I am here, she will not escape. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. I'm assuming- Wait a minute. Oh, what, what? If people like her and something like a Divination Commission can exist, why does no one believe that the leader of the Stellaron Hunters can see the future? I guess it just seems too OP to them. and They're just like, nope, not believe in that. they can see the future too. Uh, maybe they, I don't know if Divination- We'll have to wait and see what the Divination Commission can actually do. I'm assuming- because they keep saying, like, oh, we don't use violence to interrogate people. I'm assuming that they, like, read your thoughts in your mind and stuff. The right? time has arrived. I have no idea. We must depart. Please proceed. Bum, 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 bum. Whatever you say, dog. 
There's the city. Here, benefactors. Oh, crap. Uh, boom, boom. I may live in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. Who are you Why talking to? Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the divination commission to you? I have no idea. No need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the star skiff. Oh. Huh. Thanks, Silver Wolf. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. I see what's going on. Look. Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. Yo, that tree not is not looking too good. That's a giant burning tree. I don't think that's... <laughs> okay. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. I think I know what you're saying. I get what you're trying to say, but can you say it in a little clearer? I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. The connoisseur appreciates the artistry, and the layman enjoys the show. <laughs> this must be the quantum entanglement you hear about in stories. And... You can count on your fingers? <laughs> One. Flip. Two. Two, two. Two? Two. That's three. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um. Sure. Yeah. Fashion for hundreds of amber eras. Don't look at us. We, we don't need what I did. Wait, we what we said made sense. I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The star skiff cannot take us to the divination commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the commission must be in. Hmm. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. Indeed. She has a point. <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's internal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. Hmm? I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. Uh, what, uh, wait, can we help? Or, or what about Kafka? Or we shall meet? Wait, actually, what about Kafka? L low key. What about Kafka? The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Okay, so she's just gonna um, puppy guard her. You might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. Uh, you think too little of me. My word is my bond. I will stick to my promise even if this delve collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. I really like you. You have a very fun character. To have this prisoner speak, the commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive. Even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. I'm very a patient person. Uh, okay. We trust you. Ah, oh, dude. That hair Where color. Is Kafka? I have no idea. Dude, I love her hair oh, color and I how it changes. I offended someone again. She's just annoyed that you won't trust her. Well, someone had to put her in her place. Or, you think? I, okay. 
I'm about to say something, and I don't want someone to take it the wrong way. I actually like the middle option, but not. I would not state it exactly like that. I think that girl needs a bit more humility, but I do like her overall chutzpah. Uh, I think she's just annoyed that you won't trust her, honestly. I think that top one's good, right? Hey, are you on her side? Hmm? I just no. wanted to remind her not to break her promise, that's all. Dude, that's I'm not on what no we, one's side. That's not what we were saying! Okay. There's no winning that. No. Nope. Cool. Not a single way. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought she was pretty icy. Nah. She has a pretty frilly personality. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that means, but she has a lot of frills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's just putting on a tough front. Or some people are not what they seem. Or bashing Don. We're not bashing Don. Um, I like both of those. Uh, like how options. you're always pretending to be quiet. Wow. Really? When when are we pretending to be quiet? Okay, enough chit chat. I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah. Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. Hmm. New area. New area. Oh, uh, we got people to talk to. Oh. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Oh, yes. Oh, Dude, how fancy indeed. <laughs> Uh, I guess we asked her about all the things. What, uh, what do they do? <sighs> you never asked what the Skyfaring Commission does. I suppose not all commissions are created equal. I mean, I, I kind of... you fair the sky, right? I, yeah, I was about to say, that's kind of self-explanatory. Besides, you already kind of introduced what your job was anyway. Yeah. Anyway, if you must know, the Divination Commission is responsible for gathering intelligence, devising strategies, and performing divination. Oh! <gasps> No! Trial by fortune telling? <laughs> uh huh. Maybe there's more to it? It's not like I would know. I'm a mere amicassiter. Mm. Don't worry. Diviner Fu seems confident about getting Kafka to talk. If I were you, I'd just sit back and watch her do her thing. Ah, uh, will she go back on her word? Who knows? She tends to make decisions based on the results of her divinations, as opposed to what others might be thinking. Mm. If she doesn't want to reveal the Commission's secrets, then you have no choice but to wait. How come Kafka gets to know their secrets? <laughs> yeah, come on now! What the about The General us? entrusted the Master Diviner with the interrogation of the fugitive because he has faith in her ability to manage the situation. As one of the six charioteers, she is certainly capable. Mm. Charioteur, charioteers. Why do okay. you think Kafka surrendered at the mere sight of her back in Stargazer Navalia? Uh, it's a part of her plan. Okay. Are you familiar with oh, this place? Did you want a tour of Exalting Sanctum? <laughs> oh, the last time I came here on a star skiff was... Well, let me think. About 20 years ago now? Mm. I've been on the road for so long that I've started to forget the sights and sounds of the Sienjo. Dang. All I remember is that this is a good place to while away the days. Still, many delves have changed beyond recognition since the arrival of the Stellaron. Hmm. Well, just taking a if scroll. If you're bored, you could go and find the messenger from the Divination Commission. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll be on my way. Okay. Other things. And we have March Hi. and Welt. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Oh, is that a Sienjo motto or something? First the Skyfaring Commission, now the Divination Commission. They're all so secretive. Oh, the General's the only friendly face here. Kind of. I hate to admit it, but I'm even starting to miss Sampo. <laughs> oh, hold up. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> nope. I'll take this Yenjo over that blue-haired boar any day. <laughs> uh-huh. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, we've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in the Sienjo. Yep. <sighs> Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. Potentially. That's a deep statement, actually. Wow. When did you become a poet? Does the scenery feel familiar to you? Come on, let's go stroll and clear our heads. He finished the gray sky route in 12 parsecs. Uh, probably. I'm sorry, did I just hear a Han Solo reference in the background? I think you did, good sir. I think you did. That was a Star Wars reference. Uh, does the scenery seem familiar to you? Let's ask her about that. When did you become a poet? Or, or the poet. We can do the poet first. Wondering if the Sienjo is my homework? No. No, not even remotely close to that. Nope. I'm not getting any flashbacks. <laughs> Please, do I look Sienjo ish to you? You must be thinking of Don Hung. Oh, uh, when did you become a poet? Hmm. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. I've got poetry on standby 24 7. Dang. Well, that's nice. Let's uh, take a stroll. Idea. Let's go. Wait a minute. Clear my head of what? Nothing. Oh, well, never mind. Where is Welt? Right there. When we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. Oh, yeah. She read the script in advance. Yeah, let's say that. The leader of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one knows who he is or what he looks like. Only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's Slave. Huh. It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. Indeed, all you have to do is cut the branches of the paths you don't want. How handy. Mm. In fact, it may even be superior. If the rumors are true, Every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. Indeed, even the smallest action can have huge reverberating consequences, especially if you know what those are. That's terrifying if you could actually use that. Which would include what they did to you. You know, you're right. I have free will. Huh, yeah, no, we definitely do. <laughs> is that is that all I am? I only care about the present. <laughs> I like the middle one. Don't click the middle one, but is that all I am? A future variable? I think we used to be one of them. I, I think so, yeah. Whatever, I only care about the present. <laughs> That's good, but be careful. Maybe the Stellaron Hunters showing up is a sign that they're trying to change the future. I assume that's exactly what's going on right now. Back to the matter at hand. Kafka. Right. Her surrender seemed odd, because she gave herself up. She didn't resist at all. Yeah. Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. Or the way they wanted it to be, mm -hmm. since they can choose what they want. But is she really as calm as she seems? The future holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron Crisis. Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her a window of escape. Something like that. Hmm. <sighs> Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action? The heck have I know. We have no clue. Well, he is in deep thought. He is in deep thought. My dad is in well, dang. And here's our shop, potentially? No, this is just a food place. Dang it. Uh, that's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? What's going on with him? Oh, uh oh. Oh. Everybody stay back! Oh! Hey? Oh, 
did she just kill him? Give him this medicine uh, and make him lie down. Uh, Wait, you uh, can cure uh -oh. them? Ah, uh, uh, that may be a few too many. Uh, I mean, make them lie down. <laughs> okay. Well then, interesting. Sure, yeah, kid, we'll help him. Wait, so we can cure these dudes? Well, well, sorry about all the ones we've killed. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, our bad. Rip. <laughs> oh, these guys are super here. easy. Okay. Probably just nuke. Oh, which one do you want to nuke? He'll, ah. You'll probably kill the one on the right if you go for him. I probably will, but then this guy. Then he's gonna, yeah. Okay, maybe well, nuke actually, him. actually, the others can just kill him outright, so it's fine. Oh. Sh boink. Oh. You took the bait well, just that works. Like that. that works for us. Let's get you down. You're back. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. I hope you're prepared. Oh, flip. He just killed him out. He just kind of died. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I was going to like freeze him, break him, have her kill him, and then skill him. But, you know, that's fine too. Uh, that'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? Yeah, you sure showed them. Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Uh-huh. Knocking someone unconscious sure does put them out. <laughs> assertive sedation <laughs> techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? I think she was trying to politely say that, yes. However, these cloud knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. You're blaming us? Sorry, sorry about that. I need to see some qualifications. <laughs> Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? Oh no, is she gonna be like hundreds of years old? Uh oh. I don't have a dad. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I was not expecting that response. I was not expecting that. Sorry about that. Um. <laughs> that was not at all. I'm not ready. I was not ready for that. <laughs> that hit me out of left field. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, flip. Uh, what about your mom? Marge, you already know the answer to this. I don't have a mom either. How? Wait, whoa. Did you just uh, sprout out of the ground? <sighs> Would you grow from a scale or something? Did the stork bring you? I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. Nope. We said nothing. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. Yes. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mama dad required. But wait, you'd have to start... You have don't to start. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't That's like the chicken it. and the oh, egg. Don't think about it. No, it's like the chicken and the egg. Well, you the gotta start first. You the chicken came first. But the <laughs> also, that argument doesn't really hold a lot of weight, brother. <laughs> I. <laughs> You'd have to start somewhere, kid. Oh, flip. I mean, God created the chicken. I mean, that's the thing. So God created the chickens, then the chickens laid the eggs. Yeah. So this girl needed to have a mom and dad at some point, or she's a dragon. I don't know how the dragon race works well, in this fantasy world. maybe she was just made. You know, yeah, maybe God just made her. There you go. You know what? I, yeah, that's I can't. I saying your argument didn't have a lot of weight to that, brother. You, freak, you're right. Okay, yeah. If we're going off of that logic, yes, I guess. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Oh, so when you just were like, man, so you're like, ah, I'm baby again. What should I do? Yes, it sounds I like- I should study doc- I should get my doctorate. Plenty of time. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you kind of technically never die, then I guess learn as much as you can. Might as well, you know, try something new every life. <laughs> Bellabog kids are making snowmen. While children here are writing prescriptions. I think you're not getting it, March. <laughs> Things haven't been very peaceful in the lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand. 
So, I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. Hmm. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. So you're still charging us? Ha! Do you have any idea how many people on the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... You what? <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. Hmm. They're known as the dragon race. Not hard to see why. They are quite dragons. Hello? Oh, we can't talk to her? Dang! Uh, I wonder if Omiya need dragons uh, in their older forms. S forms. I don't know what to call that. I mean, yeah, that that would be really cool because I don't think I've seen any dragon people from this game, honestly. Oh. Hurry, find beds for the patients from the other delves and stabilize them. Your voice actor's familiar. Yeah. Remember to minimize contact. We don't want your people to succumb to the same evil. Is that Mona? Mm, and no. Asta? I don't think Are you so. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Realm Keeping Commission is out in full strength. What about the Alchemy Commission? Why are there so few of you here? Do you mean out in full force? I think that is her because it sounds like Miku from Quince. Ah. Hey, Missy, does this look like a classroom to you? And we know this guy, too. on treating the patients. Mm-hmm. So green is alchemy. Realm keeping is black and orange. Or brown. Orange is brown? Orange? Born? Orange? Born? Orange? Bro orange. 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 That's the best I can do. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Doctors don't give up that easily. I mean, if there's nothing else you can do, then there's nothing else you can do. What else am I supposed to do? The route back to the Alchemy Commission has disappeared, and we're in the field without the right medicine or supplies. Uh oh I mean, make do with what you got. Besides, we have no record of this disease at all. These symptoms are consistent with someone about to be stricken with Mara. According to his medical record, this man is barely over 200 years old. He only just joined the Cloud Knights. How can he possibly be Mara struck? Why don't you take another look? Yo, 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 yo. 200 is young here? I mean, they're elves. I. Wow. <sighs> it goes on like this. The judges of the Ten Lords Commission will have to come out and clean up this mess. Imagine. Why haven't they already? Imagine having to be like 16. Or not. Wow, well, I was about to say 1600. Imagine having to be like 160 years old before you can get your like driver's license. Oh. <laughs> I would not want to be a baby for that long. <laughs> yeah, imagine. That'd be torturous. <laughs> oh, flip. Uh, well, then, uh, where do we go? Wait, hold up. Uh, just talk to everybody? When it rains, it pours. The Artisanship Commission has its own issues. It sounds serious, too. Go and inform the Cloud Knights. See if you can... Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Oh, you actually acknowledge Judging us. by your dress, you must be visitors to the Law Fu. Indeed. Um, there, there yes. it is. Yes? I'm, I'm a guest. The general invited me. Actually, not wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> and I'm a civil servant. Okay. The general hired me. Okay. Technically speaking, every traveler aboard the Law Fu is a guest of the General. Yeah! If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been uh, temporarily suspended. So that's Silverwolf, right? Probably. Got it. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a star skiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. God Price bless you. She's fair and negotiable. What do you think? Uh, no need. I have a vessel picking me up or no thanks. 
I have a vessel picking me up. Well now, you must be quite special. Hey, don't spread this around, but this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. The General has sent the Cloud Knights to check for hidden dangers. Mm. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Guys, so this is Dodge. our guy in the know. Roger that. <laughs> okay. Hi, Everyone, you look please cool. remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. Mm. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. And then charge you for medicine. Oh, uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the commission can deliver them to your door. Hmm. Mm. I'm here to collect supplies. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. Oh, you must be an outsider. Indeed. I see. Please sign here. Wait, how is an Abacus a bracelet? How would you do that? Just well, why not? I guess that would work. Dang. How's the, 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 the how how is the fairing? I heard there's a problem with their meridian pin. Mm -hmm. Some diviners and stargazers managed to escape the delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Ah, the giant deer thing. Do you have friends trapped in the delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. So I'm assuming the deer is like some kind of mythical beast that like is a guardian here, but why is it attacking peeps? Probably corruption. Dang. I want to say Thanks it's for all your day's doing. work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. When will this end? In emergencies, it never does. Prepare not to sleep for a week. Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. Oh. Yeah? Hi. You want to fight? It was only thanks to your help earlier that Never the mind. Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. Dragon Lady? Our, oh. our help? You don't remember? You dealt with those Mara-struck knights in the nick of time. I saw it all. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General commissioned guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. That's us! That is us. If you don't mind... I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Gotcha. Well, we have nothing better to do. Yeah, they, you need to tell us more about these roots. Like, what? What do you mean, roots? It's the roots. It's the root of the problem. Don Hung. Oh! Something happened just now. I just arrived at the Xianjiao. Are you alright? What are you doing on the Xianjiao? It's a flip. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Xian Zhao. Xian Zhao. I think that's how you say it. What happened or what are you doing? What happened? Is the express okay? Never what mind. are you what are you doing on the Xian Zhao? I'll pretend that you replied, I'm okay. <laughs> it's a long story. I'm at Cloud Ford with a Cloud Knight. I'll join you when I can come out. By the way, the express is fine. I came here by myself. I'll tell you about it later. I'm very interested. Indeed. Tell me all the deets. Oh my goodness, what? Picture? Dungeon. Dungeon? Dungeon. 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 Tell us. Dungeon. Okay, so by tell us all about it, it means. Play, oh! Play, play it yourself. As us. Play yeah, as us. Play as us? Okay. Let's I'm so, go. so confused. If the shipping right. passages in Cloudford changed even a little. The entire route would be drastically altered. Do you two know the way? I do not. <laughs> I came this way. I know it like the back of my hand. Just follow me. Mm. Um, I'm so tempted to get the healer guy so from this place. Silent but deadly. Let me know when you're ready and we can set off. Gotcha. Hello there! Do you hail from the Law Fu, young master Don Hun? I do, no, or remain silent. 
I mean, we look like it. <laughs> I do, then, I, yeah. I see. It's fine if you'd prefer not to discuss further. I do often struggle to judge the boundaries of small talk. I hope I haven't offended you. Mm. This guy has got to be a part of the Stellaron Hunter group, right? Probably. Uh, I'd like to ask something. Please do. Please do. How much do you know about the Law Fu being sealed off? Almost nothing. I was scheduled to leave the Law Fu when I heard there was a disturbance. Miss Sushang here is a member of the Cloud Knights. You could try asking her. Who is this Cloud Knight girl? Her name is Su Shang. She apparently just transferred here from the Yao Qing. Hmm. Every Senjo ship operates individually, but the Cloud Knights are all commanded by the Marshal. Therefore, it's normal for knights to transfer between ships. Who's the Marshal? Hmm. I have other questions. Let's talk about you. Uh-oh. You don't seem like you're from the... this place. Where have you come hmm. from? Merchants don't belong anywhere. We wander and make the stars our home. But if you're curious, within the Alliance, I'm registered at the Xianjiu Yutre. Within the IPC, I'm registered at the Star Unity Mall branch at the North Valley Star. Therefore, Luo Chai is just the name I use within the Xianzhou. Outside of the Xianzhou, I use something more difficult to pronounce. Mm hmm. I'm guessing you want to know that name too? You know? Okay, hear me out on this, and this is just a weird theory. Yeah? Could this be the guy who can read the future? Could this be him? Oh, is that too, is that too, is, um, am I stretching too much? No idea. Because his name was Elio, right? Or Elios? Yeah. Freak. Well, that's not really hard to pronounce. That's not hard to pronounce, yeah. You have pretty good fighting skills for a the merchant. The universe is a dangerous place. The IPC and the Alliance only provide for our safety during interstellar travel. On-site security is dependent on our own capacities. Uh-huh. As such, I had to improve my swordplay and healing skills. You are also a wanderer, young master Don Hung. Surely you understand. Uh huh. You know, what's so in my so? coffin? Ah, a story of ill luck. I found myself embroiled in a conflict and ended up owing a favor. Now I must assist in delivering these remains back to the Sienjo. It would seem I am a magnet for such misfortune. I thought I would be safe on the Law Fu, but now... I think that coffin is definitely just with you. I don't think you're delivering that anywhere. Huh. Of course. Excuse me. Okay, then. Hmm. Silent, but deadly. Are you sure that nickname isn't annoying you? I wouldn't say so. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> I should learn to be this easygoing. Hmm. I'd like to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead. I'll tell you everything I know. How much do you know about the Law Fu being sealed I off? I heard they found an antimatter legion bomb. Oh, what? At safety, they locked down the entire ship. They'll only reopen it after they've removed the bomb. I don't know if all that's true, though. Anyway, the higher-ups didn't say anything. They just got me to evacuate the civilians of Cloudford. So they're keeping the Stellaron a secret, I see. Ooh. Had you met this merchant before? Nope, I met him when I met you. But yeah, now that you mention it, maybe I did see him somewhere. He seems a bit familiar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where would that have been? Maybe a wanted poster? Let's talk about you. Me? Uh, there's not much to talk about. What's the story with you and that giant chicken? <laughs> when did you join the Cloud Knights? Not that long ago. But I've been receiving strict Cloud Knight military training since I was a child. Jeez, My parents are both famous on the Yaochin. I wouldn't be here otherwise. They've been training me ever since I was born. <laughs> Don't look down on me just because I'm a new recruit. Wouldn't dream of it. Are you from here? Yep. 
Have you been there before? I feel the Yao Qing and the La Fu have different characteristics. I might be a La Fu Cloud Knight now, but I still think the Yao Qing is better. For example, when it comes to leadership, I don't think General Qing Yuan is as reliable as our Madam General back on the Yao Qing. Oh, that's a tease right there. Hmm. Uh, actually, forget about the last sentence. Just pretend I never said it. Oh, of course not. Hmm. Let's go. Let's begin. Whoa. Okay. Oh, dude, we have a Madam General. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Just going this way. Oh, flip. You're actually going to let me? Really now? Wait, what's that way? Huh? Su Shang, what are you doing here? I have orders to evacuate civilians. See these two behind me? I need to get them out of here quickly. It's too dangerous. You can say that again. Some comrades were injured by monsters in the vicinity. They only just made it out. Dang. I'm taking up the rear. I should be out of here soon. You guys should hurry. Oh, flip. To function, what? I wanted to check the map. Oh, got it. Oh, be prepared to be very confused. <laughs> oh, okay. Now's not the time to get distracted. Ah, okay. You nerds. Okay. Got it. We gotta go this way. Controller! Fine. On! Move to the left. Oh, it's here. Oh, these are the boxes we couldn't move before. Hey, silent but deadly. Shout if you see any danger, okay? Don't think just because you know a move or two, you can charge off by yourself. Confidence! You must have confidence, Su Sheng. Okay, uh, well, let's punch something. Do we need to kill all of this stuff? I don't know. Because we've kind of explored around this area. But this is like a story bit, so I'm wondering if there may be something new. There may be something new hidden around here. Let me end your yeah. misery. Yeah. Alright, and this should kill you as well. And the other bat is not even going to attack. Okay. This joint should kill joint. you or freeze you. Oh. Oh, oh, that was very close. Uh, there's March's that. six-faced ice. There was a fight here. Indeed. Curious that she can produce the stuff she was trapped in. Yeah, that is really neat. Oh, now it's not time to get distracted. Oh, wait, but wow. there's new people down there. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh okay, what area has changed. What about this? What the freak was that achievement, huh? I didn't do anything. We can't. Okay, we'll do uh, that later. Well, I guess. I'll read it later. I guess. What? What? Are you gonna see us anywhere? Have at! Get punched! Have at me! You coward! Oh, oh, okay. oh wow. I thought he was gonna explode. But, okay. Let me your misery. A two. And a three. A three. Oh. Jeez. Love the fact she just debuffs and immediately annihilates them we from existence. Them unawares. That's he very nice. Stood zero chances. Oh. A cloud knight stricken with Mara. Oof. How could the mutations get this bad? Is the Stellaron exerting an effect? Ah, oh, that's right. He knows Amara because he lived here. Yeah, I was about to say he knows what Mara what struck the is. Flip is Mara. Okay, got it. Ooh. There's supposed to be a passage. Why can't I see it? There's boxes in the way. It's right there. Somebody used the Cloud Ford control panel to block the road with containers. Sorry about that. Uh, who did this? I'm terrible with machines and stuff. Hold on. How do you know? He's a merchant. I'm a traveling merchant. I've been here many times. Now. For a cloud knight to be unfamiliar with the local topography. I told you, I was only just transferred here from the Yao Qing. I don't come here very often. Uh huh. I want to defend Su Sheng so badly, but at the same time, it's like, how do you not know how to press how do a you button? Not know? <laughs> it's a button. Where 
Where is the control panel? It's, it's to our right. Well, I thought we would like. Is that the one? Let me see. Oh, Locha, you've got sharp eyes. Guys, we're not that stupid. I'm not that stupid. I just wanted to see if we could we, walk over we there. We just wanted to walk over there. That's all I wanted. Holy to crap. Oh, man. But it's fine. Uh, move. Okay. Can we, can we now walk over there? Am I now allowed to be a big boy and walk over here? We can. Okay, we're big boys now. Okay, that's nice. Freaking. Oh, is that a... A guy to punch? A nerd? Oh my goodness, you almost got stabbed. Got him. You almost got your face stabbed, man. Be careful. Okay, so this guy does lifesteal. We've been informed by the comment section. Thank you guys for letting us know that. Um, oh, nuke him. not too bad to deal with. Yeah, no, just nuke him then. Uh, Pela will annihilate you out of existence. Probably so... go ahead and get a silver wolf alt on the main guy, I'm assuming, right? Or should I Pela then silver? Oh, wait, Good no, he's point. not gonna summon. He's gonna guys. summon, though. What do you think? Uh, I'll just smack him for this first round. Okay. Hey! Ow. Cringe. Okay. Now you pay luck. Yeah, you get draining hit, I see. Okay. Now we destroy everyone. Got it. How Wish, wash, wash, wish, 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 wish. Enemy targets detected. If only that could debuff them as well. Only if. That would be amazing. Uh. Go ahead and get rid of that. Yep. Can you let no. Me have some fun this no life steal for you. In. This well, let's go ahead and nuke you. Yeah. Should have done this actually before, but it's uh, bad, 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 bad. For a Good damage. Also should have done that actually before. Yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You're warming up. Dude, you're warming up, it's Daniel. Fine. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. This is Everyone what... makes mistakes, okay? Mistakes. Uh, pr yeah, probably just keep punching this dude. I do think we have to kill everyone though in this fight. Or at least him and the left guy. Right? Yeah. Speaking I'll of. I'll free you from your chains. Really? Not enough. Disappear I really thought it would have been. If it crits, that would be amazing. Please crit. Please crit. Yes! Okay, that so that kills the guys he summons. Well, hello you. It sucks to be you. That actually was a bit overkill, I think, Daniel. I think you could have saved your I don't know boy. the meaning of it. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, dang. Okay. With a double buff, there was no way he was gonna survive a basic. Flip. No! Not oh. this puzzle! Oh, well. Okay. I don't think I can. No, I don't dude, think no, I can. Believe in yourself. I don't know, man. I Just oh. believe in your skizzles. Just believe in the heart of the cards. Are you, are you wiping the sweat off your brow? You did it! Good Dang. job. You did it. You did so good. What is that? Just like in racing, I made I There's made it go around. Left. Okay, let's go. What? Where? Where does it go? <laughs> Judging by where it's docked, it must be heading for Central Starskip Haven. Nice. We'll be safe there. <laughs> Come on, let's climb aboard. What was that little chuckle? Yeah, hold up, hold up. Law shot. Wait, hold up. Let's you sus. Hurry. Uh huh? Please. I'd like to ask you something. Do you just skip his please do every time, Daniel. What is what? <laughs> why? Are you familiar with the operational mechanic mechanisms in Cloud Four? Not really. I've just seen them before. That's all. I'm sure. Do you not want to go to Star Skiff Haven? Oh, what makes you ask that, young master? I'm happy as long as I get to leave this place. Young, young master? I have other questions. Let's talk about you. <laughs> I'm not a very interesting person. What are your plans from here? At this stage, I'm just taking it one step at a time. Thankfully, as a registered merchant on the Xinzhou, I get a discount on all my expenses. Ooh. In that regard, it makes sense for me to stay a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sushang mm. said she could show me around if I find myself unable to leave. That's nice. 
Are you gonna be able Where to look you? around in prison? Though? Where are you going? I had some more trading to do on the other Xianzhou ships, but my main appointment was with Miss Ting Yun of the Whistling Flames Merchant Guild. We had a business deal to discuss, but I fear it will no longer go ahead. Mm. Most of the deals won't be particularly profitable. The IPC takes the majority. Oh. There's only one that might be worth the journey. A direct trade with the Fong Hu. Fong Hu? The Hu? I see what you did there. <laughs> ah, word puns. Of course. Oh boy. Let's hurry and get on the star skiff. Too bad. We want to talk. I'd like to ask hmm? something. Something else? You know, I just realized. What? If it turns out that Law Cha is a Stellaron hunter, that means back to back for two patches, we've had all the, Stel uh, the Stellaron hunters added. Yep. Because you had Silverwolf, Law Cha, most likely Blade, and then Kafka. <sighs> or Kafka, then Blade. I, I, it doesn't really matter which order. But still, if he's a Stellaron hunter, that's four in a row. Can we get that with the Harbingers? It's, uh, is it okay to change our route? I don't know. I think we should be okay. Let's get out of here first and talk about it when we're in the clear. <laughs> okay. What will happen to Starkus Skiff Haven? There should be a dedicated evacuation team waiting for us. You can go with them. I have other questions. Let's talk about you. Ah, uh, not the best time. I kind of agree, admittedly, but thank you for guiding us all the way here. No need to thank me. Just a cloud knight doing her job. What are your plans after this? What are we asking her on a date? Um, that depends on the higher-ups. If there are still civilians to evacuate, then I'll need to come back. Hmm. Well, uh, okay, that's it. Okay, but think fast. I imagine, imagine that. Like, literally, this, like... The whole, everything's going wrong. There's monsters attacking everywhere. So, uh, what are you doing so after tell this? Tell me a bit about yourself. Tell me a bit about yourself. Like, let's, I'll tell a little bit, you a little bit about me. You tell me a little bit about you, you know. Go get a coffee or something. Are you ready for me to trauma dump? Trauma dump? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm here to, I just, vent all my frustrations at you. Let's go. For the next two hours. Oh, flip. I, I, I. I don't, I don't know if I could hang around. I'd be like, you know, I have a, I have somewhere to be after this, like at home, asleep. Back in the 1800s. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll leave. And some goodies. Maybe don't trauma dump on the first date, Daniel. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Oh man, that's the that's rest. the real hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. Really? <laughs> Dang. Yeah, no, I think that scares most people off, honestly. I mean, hey, I like honesty. I'll take it, man. But still, it's like maybe let them get to know you first. Wait, well, who's this? Uh, two centuries passed and then two centuries more. If I don't get my promotion, I'll undergo my hatching rebirth soon. Wait, you're an elf. Hatching? Oh, what? You're hatching rebirth. You're sure so you're you're an elf. You're not a dragon. Do elves come out of eggs do, in this world, or do they go into eggs? What? Promotion? Yeah, in one of the uh, in one of our lifetimes, uh, Vidyahara uh, have to serve as officers or clerks so we can get a taste of what it's like to be a public servant, right? For a century? Yeah, for one lifetime. So you have to be like uh, an office worker for one life, basically. Huh? Oh no! In the cubicle. Get in the cubicle! No! Oh! Hey, that's enough for now. Let's not linger on such a a, a, mor a morose topic. I don't know that word. I'm a speaking of words I don't know. I'm a gungda, a lowly or a lowly orderly from the realm keeping commission. Uh, oh, that's his name. That's oh, his I'm so, I'm sorry. What what are you? <laughs> what are you? What are you? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. If you have any issues to handle, I suggest you visit our, our chancery offices. My heading out. Take care. I'd better get back to it. Sorry. Enjoy spending the next two centuries here. <laughs> Boop. Realm keeping commission. Realm. I would not do that. I don't even care if two centuries is short for an elf. There is not a 
chance I am spending two centuries in a cubic. In a cubic. Or as a cashier. Actually, I guess it's pronounced cubicle, but cubic sounded fun. Hi. I always feel like we're missing something here at the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery. But I can never remember what. You've come at just the right time, though. Help me rule out some possibilities. Say, tell me, what do you think our office is missing? Why do you have Kieran as your poster? Yo, that's a cool dragon or, or horse thing. I don't know what that a Kieran. is. Kieran. Kieran. Promo material showcasing the work of the Realm Keeping Commission. Small ornaments that make this place feel alive. A Realm Keeping Commission officer who's actually productive at work. That one. <laughs> Young man, that remark is uncalled for. At, l at least Officer Jing Yuan, uh, Yan? Jing Yuan is doing her work. As long as Officer Jing Yuan is here, then the Realm Keeping Commission lives up to its name. <laughs> okay. You need someone that actually is good at their job. Bro, I take offense to that. She is amazing at her job. We all just love doing nothing. <laughs> that Songyun kid may be lazy, but he's smart. I have high hopes for his future. What's with everyone actually in this place relying on a single person to keep all of their businesses afloat? I have no idea, and this is someone else. So yeah, these old fogies seem to like <sighs> leaning on children. Naturally, if anything actually happens to the Exalting Sanctum, you'll find me to be an extremely reliable officer. Okay. I will? You will, apparently. What a shame. What do you mean? Is not. <laughs> Some promo materials. Not that. Okay. <laughs> Shot down, Daniel. I raised this with Jing Yun, uh, Yun before, whether we should be better at... Uh, at promoting how good the Realm Keeping ch uh, Commission Chancery is at what it does, but she gave me a list of all the things we've done recently, and there really isn't anything to be proud of. Maybe do something to be proud of. <laughs> there you go. Once we crack a major case that, e that even the Ten Lords Commission can't solve, then I'll let the whole Exalting Sanctum know about how great the Realm Keeping Commission is. Until then, yeah, we're just gonna keep things on the down low. In other words, you are you doing guys nothing. Are pretty pointless, huh? I see Dang. a really easy way to save money right now. That sounds horrible, but it's true. It is. How Small much taxes are you guys writing? Yeah, how, many, how, how, how much of the taxpayer dollars is going to this place? I gotta ask. How much of, how much of my taxes while I'm staying here is going to you? <laughs> Great question. Because if it's above 10%. Uh, yeah. Uh, make the place feel alive, actually. I've thought about that. I mean, this place looks pretty sick. Like, I don't know what you can improve upon this area. I'm a big fan of alcoholic nectar, and <laughs> once stashed two bottles of nectar of Willow Woods at the Chancery, but Officer Jing Yan threw them out. She said this whole workplace, uh, oh, this is the workplace, and it would be undignified if anyone found out. Bro, you got alcoholic nectar? What is that? You just go... Yeah, is it like a is it like a dew droplet, but like alcohol or something? Is that it? What the heck? I also like pretty foxy and actresses. So I've put up a couple of their pictures on my desk to perk up my spirits. But Officer Jing Yun uh, Yan uh, confiscated the, those too. She said this is the workplace and those images are indecent. So you wanted to drink alcohol, look at some pretty women, and not do your job. Yeah, you sound like a boss. <sighs> the only way the Realm Keeping Commission feels alive is through all the courier parcels on the ground. Maybe is not really to be is is that now is not really the time to be thinking about that. I have no idea, man. Yeah, I can't figure it out even if I rack my brain. I think I'll, pick, I'll play a few rounds of Celestial Jade after work and think it through then. All right, let's get down to business, young man. What do you want? You invited us here. Hey, I heard you require my assistance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. Nice. Sounds like you get everyone else to do your job for you anyway. Yeah? My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. Uh-huh. On a day's work or let's cut to the chase, shall we? 
What do you what do you want? Top one, us? let's go, let's be nice. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Can someone tell us what the flip Mara is? <laughs> Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. Hmm. So why? More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Aha. Uh -huh. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. Oh, so Mara struck was just... Like, people just kinda go crazy, but now they're growing roots out of them, so that's a new thing. So before they just got, like, really sick, but now they're transforming into monsters. So you want me to limit? No, hey, Wait, yo, whoa, whoa, yo, whoa, hey, no, no. Calm down. Let's not go around purging the city yet. Uh, do you think there might be a hidden agenda at play? Probably. Probably. That appears to be the case. No smoke without fire, as they say. Mm hmm Despite being just a servant of the Realm Keeping Commission, spending a considerable amount of time on the front lines has sharpened my senses to potential dangers. Uh huh. You're a capable person. And since the general entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. So is it okay for us to break their bones? If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? Have we? I... Uh, yeah, that! What is that? Okay, well, I don't remember. But oh, that's is. the that's the note uh, from the first shield guy that we killed. Talking ah. about his procedure. Da, uh, ooh, da, da how? I don't know how to say his name. Carefully reads the letter you delivered. His expression reflects his disbelief as he reads it again. Dahu wow. sweets, sweats, sweets, sweats profusely as he apologizes and bolts away. After I, a while, he returns with a girl. I read the letter. With a girl. Uh-oh. I'll be honest with you. I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. What is, what? What was in that letter? Allow me to introduce Madam Ching Zhu. General Jing Yuan's chief counselor. Sup? I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. Gotcha. So you're the chief counselor, dang. <sighs> Such a serious matter. I'm sorry I can't be of much help to you. The assistance is appreciated. Stay safe. I got a few things to ask. I won't be able to answer if it's too difficult. You can ask, uh, ask Officer Jing Yu Yan instead. Getting confused. Uh, what does an officer do every day? Officers are managers in the Chancery, responsible for coordinating oh. all local, internal, and external affairs. That's the surface definition. Actually, the main job involves going to meetings at the Realm Keeping Commissioner's General's Affairs Office and spreading their ideas. So you basically you're a glorified courier. Dang, yep. that kind of sucks. Honestly, I'm not very good at these cler uh, clerical jobs. I used to be the leader of uh, for a Cloud Knight squad oh. that reported directly to General Jing Yuan. Are you surprised? I'm like a fish in water when it comes to weaponry, not when it comes to office meetings. What the flip are you doing in here? Did you I get think an injury. I think this is mandatory. I think he's stuck in here. However, veteran soldiers are far more likely than everyday citizens to be stricken with Mara. Something to do with post-traumatic stress. Anyways, it's very dangerous. Why are you guys more... What? Mm. Uh, so they transferred me here to uh, be an officer. There's no life or death situations here, but it ain't easy work. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I know that I'm busy. And you're the boss? Apparently. What? So wait, why are officers... Why do officers have a higher chance to be Mara struck? Maybe it has something to do with stress. Maybe, flip. 
Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna steal all of your uh, stuff. Sorry about that, Sung Yun. Sorry. Batuta? Ba ba Bututa? How do you say that name? That's a great name. I have no idea. It's either Batuta or Bututa. I hope I'm saying that right, because if I'm not, I'm embarrassing myself. Very much. I'm probably embarrassing myself no matter what, admittedly. All right, hi. Tell us what's so scarring hmm. about it. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. Uh oh Oh? To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Huh? Wait, hold up. What? Are you talking about Merciful Medicus? Or are you talking about the pharmacol... Uh, what the pharmacological experimentation mentioned in the letter? That's right. Since the Alliance was first established, all medical practices aboard the Sienjo adhere to strict standards that prohibit long life or mutant modifications under the guise of curing. Ah, so you're not allowed to extend your life. I went through all our files to find information on the experiment in question, and found nothing. Uh-oh. I started thinking about how the Alchemy Commission's delve was sealed off. There must be an unspeakable secret locked away there. Mmm. Quick question. What? Why are people trying to extend their life if there is some weird kind of, like, egg incubator thing that will revert them to being baby again anyway? I don't know. Don't ask what, me. What's the point of, like, making your life longer if you technically don't die? Maybe there's a limit to it. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, maybe. Besides, everyone's scared of death, no matter how long you live. I guess that's true, yeah. Huh. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Flip. Mm. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. What the flip they is that? The Disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. Uh oh. This could be bad. Ah. I can start seeing why some people that follow the Abundance may be the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The seat of divine foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. Aha. Uh -huh. If you come across any similar clues about the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the seat of divine foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Bro, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus actually <clears throat> actually sounds like a cult. It genuinely does. That could be a real-life cult, honestly. Sanctus Medicus. Do you believe in Sanctus Medicus? I'd be like, I or have no like idea. spell. I have no idea what you're talking about. Wait, what? Sanctus Medicus. <laughs> that actually does sound like a spell, admittedly. I, I agree. Do you feel healed? Not at all. Rejuvenated? Nope. It's actually a weird aching feeling in my chest right now. Let me know if any roots start coming out of your bones. What? Hold up, what? I don't Come know. again, what? Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. So, uh, what did we get out of it? Uh, no, I don't like that response. Sounds good to me, or sounds like one big headache to me? It does sound like a big it headache. sounds like a great big headache, yeah. I understand. But all I'm asking is for you to keep an eye out when you have time. Oh! The of divine foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. Oh, no, we weren't saying that to you. I was talking more about the cult and our- Sorry. Brother, I feel so. I feel rude now. I feel rude. We should have asked for money. No, no, no. We should have just been like, okay, yeah, we should be nice and everything. I, I thought it was. We were talking about the cult. That sounds like a headache. Helping you is not bad. No, I'll flip. Wow, brother, that's so rude of you. I did. did I should have read the fine print. I should have thought about that harder. Sorry. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? 
Makes sense. Sure. We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Okay. I see. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. Well, mm, he's a monster now, most likely. Crud. You are a fresh face in the Lafu and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. <laughs> I don't know you. You're not one of us. You can die. <laughs> I'd feel so much better than sending someone we know in. Goodness <laughs> gracious. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, hey, at least, you know, we're talented. I expect double the rates, baby. Double the rates. You're charging double for this one? Yep. Okay. Danger uh, is practically an inevitability. Take care and try to stay out of harm's way. Gotcha. Thanks, that's not gonna happen. Probably not. Okay. Let's not get ourselves. It's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Drop Who's by laughing? The realm keeping commission if you need help. Oh, you. Why'd she say that like that? It was like, oh. try the realm keeping commission if you need help. Like, what? If you need help. <laughs> Okay. We're just gonna get out of this place. This place scares me. I sense politics and it smells bad. <laughs> it smells bad. I feel that. Whoa! Wait, hold up. What's with the camera? Escape. There's an area ahead that is not available. Please come back dungeon. at a later time. Dungeon, dungeon. Okay, okay. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Dungeon, dungeon. Dungeon, dungeon. dungeon, dungeon. Hey. dungeon. Why do we sound like a freaking Pokemon at the moment? <laughs> is there a freaking. Spare time bookstore Somewhere. thing. It's a vending machine. Vending machine. Vending machine. Vending machine. Vending vending machine. Vending machine. Grocery, Grocery stand vending and vending new tree treasures. Vending Let's go to new tree treasures. That could be a thing. That sounds fun. We do have to go through the quest objective though, so we're probably gonna trigger something. Darn it. I don't believe in ghosts. Oh. Well, there's so many people no talking friend. right now. What? Hi. Hello there. Hmm. Just seeing you makes my head ache. Nice to meet you too! What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, don't blame me for being so blunt. I'm a healer and your symptoms are clear as day. My initial diagnosis is that your time is quickly running out. Yours is about going to be up very soon. <laughs> this is what happens when you put two blunt people together. This isn't the hubris of yet another long life species, but... Even by a short life species standards, you've already got one foot in the grave. Don't freak me out like that, man. Don't do that. I don't want to scare you. I'm just trying to give you a warning. There's an old adage around here. Good medicine tastes bitter. I hope you take what I said to heart. However, I've also got some good news to tell you. You're lucky to have met me because it's not too late. You still have a long... Uh, wait, you can still have a long life. 100, 200, even a thousand years. There is hope for you. Oh, oh is this the guy you're we're the guy. We're supposed to meet you. Oh, that's funny. We were coming over here anyway. You just Good. have to make a purchase of longevity supplements from Nutri Treats. <laughs> and you can live longer, just like us. One second, I had it earlier. Xinjiao. Like us Xinjiao people. Everyone who uses this loves it. What do you say? Want to learn more? Oh, do tell me more. Do tell us more. Do you have any cure-all medicine here? Wait, what? Resurrection, Resurrection. pellet. That is so expensive. When used, inst instantly replenishes two technique points for the team. You know, that's actually not that bad. Sure, we'll buy that. It is said that it cures all diseases, but it's actually Hawthorne pills. It's really delicious, though. Yeah, we'll buy some. That actually, Promotion of the medical properties of health production is prohibited by law. Officer, I'm wrong. This is not a health product. This is just food. Try it. If you don't believe me. What? Look for the suspicious people at the Exalting Sanctum. Well, we just talked to one of them. I just talked to some pretty suspicious person. And they were not the correct person, apparently. I mean, they were a merchant, I guess. <laughs> just one of those people that want to sell you who vitamins. Who could possibly be more suspicious than that guy? Mumbling weirdo. Excuse me. You, I guess. from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Not in this life. <laughs> I yearn for power! <laughs> Please say that. Hmm. I understand. 
Eternal life is indeed a kind of power, wouldn't you say? No, I want power, pure and simple. <laughs> uh, well, not much can be done for you then, brother. I'm at my wit's end with you, brother. Hold on, sir. Your voice and dialogue are not matching up. <laughs> <laughs> what a peculiar person you are. I'll tell it to you straight. To Outworlders, I offer the chance of immortality. But perhaps someone like you would be better off joining the Antimatter Legion. What is that supposed to mean? Is that a threat? Regardless of what you choose, let's keep our voices down, eh? This isn't the kind of conversation you can have There's out the in the chest right there. There is a chest right there. Before you can grasp absolute power, you must yearn for immortality, don't you think? Uh, the problem is that the Xian Zhou Alliance doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. I see what you're doing. You're trying to rile us up. Trying to get us to play against the, the uh, commission and all that. I see what you're doing. Mm. But also, who the heck would want to live forever in flesh? Yeah, no, I'm kind of all about the whole living forever with God in heaven thing. That's what I'm all for. Personally. Personally. My name is Green Hibiscus. Hibiscus? I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. Uh-huh. One who Bro. is also on the road to immortality. Dude, his, his name reminds me of Tobiscus. It's been freaking years since I've thought of him. Dang. What do you say? I hope he's doing alright. How right. about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Sure. No! Uh... <laughs> Flip, I want to open that chest. Uh, yes, it will be. It sounds uh, dangerous. How so? We are dutiful and sincere. The only difference between us and other Sienjo residents is that we are more faithful to our inner desires. Uh huh. I won't harm you. Yet? <laughs> Freaking! There we go. Now Bro, I'll, I'll come with you into way. your specific. So made up your mind bro this guy is like that this is the guy that your parents always warn you not to go with like when you're a wait. little kid like don't freaking wait we have a different option to say no oh do it please it's, a, it's no. a no i don't make a habit of following strangers around green hibiscus gently whistles he looks at you with a calm expression seemingly certain that you will give in to your heart's desire and go with him well yeah, that's because you're the quest so so you made up your mind yeah, yes, but don't even think about lying to Good. us. Then let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. <laughs> here we are. This is the oh. place. Uh-huh. How do I gain immortality? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. We're not going to have to, like, kill each other, right? Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. So the alchemists are working with them. I see. Gotcha. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as Disciples. Dedicated to our cause. Uh huh. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Uh huh. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. Okay. Okay. Interesting that the Abundance is a bad guy. I mean... Or at least these followers are. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. I kind of thought the Abundance path would be bad guys from the beginning because it's all about, like, the healers. So I just, in my mind, was like, that's who I'd write as the bad guys, personally. That's just me, but... Okay, so the question is, though, because... Not all healers are bad guys, obviously, like, because they just follow the path of healing, because the e the uh, Aeon, or Eon, whatever the flip it was, that thing's all about just healing anyone and everything, right? That was like, yep, regardless of who or what it is. Got it. So it's just, as long as it's about medicine, basically, and healing, it's like, yep, that's the path. Okay. 
What is this Cloud Knight doing here? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. But why do uh, you guys need it? Don't you think the people of the Xinjiao uh, abhor the abundance? Ah, only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful Medicus. Oh! Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. I just realized the devilish, ar devilish archer is the hunt guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it just clicked. What can I get from Sanctus Medicus? Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful Medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. Ah, huh? Okay. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck, of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. Okay, so mm. these guys... Wow, they have a pitch for every race here. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. The foxes live for 300 years. The yeah. dragons just recycle themselves. And then the elves just live on until they become Mara struck. So that's kind of their death, which is interesting. Hmm. To return to your question. Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short life species face, along with disease and death. Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. What kind of trial do I have to pass? What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. Uh huh. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. That's like old school brainwashing right there. Bro, that's just that's just a lot of busy work, dude. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. Uh-huh. It would be best if you could memorize the text. You're saying it's bad if I get a robot to do it for me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. It's okay. 500 times seems excessive. Yeah. Excessive? The old rules dictated that the text be copied 50,000 times. I myself undertook such a feat. Nowadays, the master takes greater pity on the common people. Hence, the number has been reduced to a mere 500. Whoa. Hold up. Huh? I'm sorry, I'd walk out. <laughs> <laughs> if someone told me to write even a short paragraph... 50,000 50, times. times. I'm, I'm sorry. You're getting that piece of paper to your face. The only way. I mean, th there is only one person that I would do that for, but there's no one else. Like, what the flip? <laughs> I do not. What? What's up, dog? Are you okay? That, that's the guy who tried writing it 50,000 times. That's him. That's what happens. It's like, I could do it. <laughs> Three hours later, <laughs> you start copying the. <laughs> no, once upon a time. Once upon a time, the thousands of hands sank this medicus, traveled the world with their 9999999 disciples living under the Rahu and teaching their way. Uh. <laughs> your index finger has a slight cramp, and your shoulder starts feeling bit sore but you've only made your first copy and there are still 499 copies waiting to be written oh boy here's gonna be a long as one. spoken the words of the nine 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 disciples were liberated from youth old age sickness and suffering after making the final stroke you catch the cloud knight in your peripheral vision as he gestures at you uh, hey stop writing get over here okay Okay. This guy? Hello. <laughs> Wait, can I? What happens if you keep doing it? What happens if I keep doing it? Wait, Wait it's one out of 500 times. Wait, Wait, hold up. 
Hold up. Wait, this is an option. You, we should do it. Transcribe. Do it. This isn't going to skip it, right? I don't know, it actually. Lower your head. You become closed off to the world around you as you quietly copy the text. We are not going to... Are we going to get ourselves indoctrinated? Your hands and shoulders are experiencing more pain. But you've only produced two copies. Oh, flip. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. Flip, can you can you actually can you look this up? See if that if I talk to Wait, this guy, I got yeah. Away. Give me a sec. I want to do this blind, but at the same time, I don't want to miss out on this. Okay, keep writing. Okay, it ends when we talk to him. I, right. I, no, just keep writing. Just keep just yeah. Trust me on this. All right. The mercy of Sanctus mm -hmm. Medicus. What? What? Go for it. I don't want to do your thing. I'm sorry. I did. I, I'm sorry. You please. The mercy of Sanctus Medicus. The ambrosial abhor. It is new growth. Disciples shall obtain enlightenment together. You finish the third copy. This sentence has started to reverberate within your being. Oh boy. Oh yes. Yes. It is not that easy to hypnotize someone. Your what? hands and shoulders no longer hurt. Maybe you've gotten used to the work, or perhaps they've grown numb. You complete the fourth copy. Oh boy. As you write out the fifth copy, the clown knight near you no longer can wait in silence. He quietly comes up next to you. Yeah, Stop no, you- Stop writing! You wanna fall under their spell? I'll finish it for you. Go keep a lookout. Oh, okay. All right, finally. I know you. You're General Genuine's honored guest. Indeed. How the freak do you know us? Uh, looks like I'll have to make sure no one finds out. <laughs> wait, what if you click that bottom one? Please do that. Wait, wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I. Nice. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. A green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here. To spy on him. Good. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. Why did you come here in your uniform? Good question. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. You're really a genius. He, he sounds almost like Sampo. Kind of. Uh, yeah. Shh. Keep your voice down. These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text. You cover for me. And I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Got it. So, that's it, Transcribed really. literature. It's written 500 times. Closer inspection reveals the last few hundred handwritings to be uh, different from the first few hundred ones. Let's hope this doesn't get discovered. I mean, they'd have to check. None of them are checking, most likely. Hello there. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed, merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. I finished. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Hmm. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. Incredibly. So can I join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus now? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. And that is? Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. Uh-oh. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So... What the freak does that it's mean? It's time for you two 
to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a disciple. Well, I, I called this. What? I was kidding around. I'll pass. I'll like pass. Yeah. There's nothing that can be done. I didn't write the rules. If you are unwilling to complete the initiation process, then we will have to ask that you keep our secrets hidden. Permanently. That's fine. You know there's two of us and one of you, right? And you and you are unarmed as far as I can tell. We have a mystical glowing bat that can make a dragon sit down and he has a pointy knife on a stick. <laughs> Watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. I like this guy. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. How? How do you plan on stopping us? Uh, you, what? You do have, what? Do you have a knife? We'll bop you. <clears throat> Fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. I don't mind either. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Is this guy like some secret five star or something? Wait, wait how is he? I think we could take him. We could totally take this guy. What? Okay, what do we do now? Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Don't die. Please don't uh, die. Um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make any guarantees. I, we know what we're doing, right, Daniel? Uh, yeah, of course we right? know what we're doing. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, we won't kill you on purpose. <laughs> Good. I knew I could trust you. My life is in your hands. Oh, you just rose a death flag for yourself, though, dog. Oh boy. So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? We're not liable if they shoot you afterwards. That's Let's just... Let's do it. Oh boy. We're not liable if they like finish you off though. And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm... Uh, I'm ready. Then... Let's begin. I don't want you to die. Well Please then, don't. take this! Okay, so easy fight. What's if we lose? <laughs> oh, well, that's not possible. It's not It's not actually possible because you can't skip your turn. Even if you auto-attack him, I think you'd win. Well, flip. I'll just let you go out with some gusto. Cloud Edge! Dang! Okay, well, we're just gonna, um... Sorry. Gonna nuke you. Okay, fight done, right? Oh, no. Pop you on the head! <laughs> See, not to- oh. oh, he's fine. He's good. He's good. Just maybe a broken bone or two. What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Let me handle it. Oh? You've dealt with this kind of thing before? Totally! Many times. Uh, but, but, but I have a long-term associate that handles problems like this. It's a side hustle. <laughs> Do you doubt me? Uh, I like the top or the middle. A long-time associate, eh? You're well-connected, I see. Very. Oh, yes. Very important. Influential. Person. Uh, powerful. Person. Bat-wielding. Yes. Person. Person. Yes. Totally, since you guys are looking for that. Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. Indeed. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. 
In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Grey Peony? Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. And we take him to a safe place. <gasps> Sweet! <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. Yep. Uh, how are you still alive? Great question. <laughs> I'm so curious to click that. Please. Wait, you you weren't holding back? I. What? No. Just a joke. He stares at your face for a long time before he realizes that you're joking. Uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. True. <laughs> I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. You too. I like you. Hope you don't die. Please don't die. The Cloud Knight vigilantly monitors his surroundings. After he's certain no one is tracking them, he makes a swift getaway. Well, alright. Okay. Easy. Uh, well That's then. That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Bro, I would love to come out with like my lunch and eat it out here or something. Ooh, can I turn you off? Oh no. The Barumbrella. Hello. It talks. Do you turn off? No, damn it. It's alive. Could you please move over a tad? I can. But why? Because I'm sun- I'm a sunbathing mushroom. What? <laughs> but you blocked off the light. Do you also think mushrooms don't sunbathe? But you're an umbrella. What, what's happening here? That's what everyone says! People say I'm in artisanship commissions- commissioned civil maintenance unit type A. Yeah? But I'm a mushroom! know about that one. Oh, now I feel even sadder. I I'm curious. I'll tell you everything I know. Even though I'm just a mushroom. You're really not. I think. What the heck are you? I'd call myself a mushroom. I was asking what you are. What would you say I am? You look like an umbrella to me. You be a robot? Possibly. Maybe I'm a robot mushroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then wouldn't that mean I'm not pure-blooded? I don't think that's what matters right now. And also, I don't think mushrooms have blood. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Why are you here? Because I'm a failure of a mushroom. <laughs> how did you fail? How, how does one fail being a mushroom? <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I need a second. I'm actually gonna pass out. Flip. What? Just curious. Wait. Mushrooms are very, very things. How does one <laughs> fail being that? Other than the fact you're not a mushroom. That is the only way you could fail at being one. Flip. Thing. What? Okay, I'm good. I'm good now. <laughs> Do you also think mushrooms shouldn't fail? I don't think they do. I don't think they can. <laughs> um, I'm used to it. Actually, I'm used... I used to have a master. Oh. He was a skilled craftsman at the Artisanship C Commission. Is he the one that made you? My master wants me to help him write poetry. Oh, that's nice. I said, but I'm just a mushroom. And so you failed. <laughs> The man, the guy, he made, it's like making a humanoid robot and it being like, ah, yes. Like, hey, can you help me with this? Like, no, I'm a mushroom. <laughs> and it just stands there and you just look at it dead in the eyes. Is it, is it, man, I like, <sighs> all these responses are great. I'm good with anything, honestly. Yes. 
I'm just a mushroom who can't write poems. <laughs> I think you're confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. What happens if you say something else with that, that second thing? Okay, go back there. I'm a failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but you're a mushroom. Wait, click that one. Do you also think mushrooms oh, shouldn't fail? Thing. Oh, okay. I'm used to it. Actually, I'm a master of the ship. He asked me to write poetry. Da, 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 and Sadness overwhelms you. Yes. You've learned how to give quick answers. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dialogue because I skipped through it too fast. Oop. Uh, go again. Go again. Failure of a mushroom. I'm a mushroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that poetry? What is poetry? I don't understand the first thing about it. Because I'm a mushroom. I think he may have messed up in your logistics somewhere. I'm going to be honest. I've read a poem like this before, actually. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't have any more questions. May our path be filled with many mushrooms. Bye. Uh, okay. Uh, that's... That happened. That was awkward. Man. I just had this thing just... <laughs> What'd you just do? <laughs> You've smashed countless innocent vases like this before, but this one is marked differently. Instead of shattering to pieces as expected, it somehow stays in place. Motionless. No. Hey, what are you doing? Breaking you. Sudden strange cry emanates from the vase. You've been a nameless for a while now and considered yourself experienced in many ways. But this is still a shock. Whack it again. Whack it again. Do it. Hey, 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 hey! Yo, yo, take it easy! My brains are about to explode! I'm the immortal in a vase, and I've lived in this vase in seclusion for thousands of years. And if it weren't for a klutz like you today, I'd probably have chilled out for a few millennia more. Whack it again. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> are you addicted to doing that? Kids these days, dang it! Ah! You're a vicious beast with a thunderous temper! This vase may be an ordinary object, but with bl a blessing of my power, a pip squeak like you won't be able to shake it up at all. How'd you get in there? What's so strange about this? If my mind is tranquil and serene, then my flesh would become truly liberated. A soul flooded with mundane concerns can never enter the world of celestials, no matter how much the individual can shapeshift. You became a vase? You're a shapeshifter? In fact, with the amount of power I have, most people wouldn't notice this face. Yet, you did. If you're not an extraordinary person already, then you are destined for greatness somewhere. Why don't you give me a hand? Consider that as an apology for disturbing me. S sounds interesting. I know you want to click that bottom one. I know that you want to click it. Sounds interesting, though. I want to see what he says. Ha <laughs> ha! Very well. How considerate. How considerate. Well then, please help me out. It's nothing difficult, and there's no rush. Just do it when you have the time. It's a quest. Please find me five bags of trash. Within this vase lies a spotless vacuum, and I've always felt it lacks the hustle and bustle of mortal life. Once you find the trash, simply toss them into my vase. We actually a fellow have connoisseur. Fellow okay. You. <laughs> Freaking Dale found a brother or, or sister or something. A vase. A vase. <laughs> the vase stands there. As much a mundane object as the immortal in a vase claims. You've broken countless vases like this before. But it's definitely different from all the other vases. Even if you can't tell what the difference is, its presence is overwhelming. But it somehow ign is ignored by passerbys. Put my hand into it? No. <laughs> Tickle it. Put your hand in and tickle it. You try putting your hand into the vase, but can't seem to do it. You don't feel any obstacles, but the force resisting you is definitely real. Aww. Right after that moment, a voice rushes straight into your brain through the bones in your arm. Provide a gift and the path of visiting the celestials will open. Okay, fine, fine. I'll put trash in you. What the flip? Uh, put the items inside. Okay. I have so much garbage. Let's go. You're about to be full of trash. 
You gaze down at the trash in your hands and then back up at this relatively small vase. Can you really stuff this much trash into this vase? Yes. Okay. But it's not something for you to ponder over. After all, pedestrians in the exalting sanctum also can't imagine you running all over the place with bags of trash. You stuff one bag into the vase. It drops down to the bottom, but you don't hear any sound. Then you shove in the remaining trash. They disappear without a sound. No. This is the hustle and bustle of the mortal realm? I didn't expect you to actually bring it. I have so much more trash. Hmm, very well. That's exactly what I wanted. Here's a gift for you. The gate to the celestial realm are open. Come and get it. You won't bite me, right? The immortal in the in a vase remains silent. The silence might be a prank, or it could simply be a predatory trap. You dip your left hand in as a precaution, keeping your dominant hand free to use a weapon. A toothbrush or a fork in the future. What? Oh, it is okay. very inconvenient yeah. having to switch uh, your dominant's hands. Yeah, I, I get that. You touch the bottom of the vase. The rubbish you dropped in is nowhere to be found. And there's nothing that might be the immortal in a vase. Then you do feel something. It's the immortal's gift. You pull out your hand. The vase stands before you in silence. Protein, Protein rice. rice. Protein Adventure rice. Adventure log, strail in the seed. Oh, fascinating. Well, thank goodness we're done. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was, yeah. <laughs> that was a mess. Wow, it just doesn't care. You're not gonna stop, are you? Damn, I think the vase has had enough! No, it hasn't. Oh my goodness. Okay, you good? You chill? Dale, breathe. Okay.